Welcome to the Sega Lounge, where we celebrate our love for all things Sega, including the games, the music, and the community. I'm your host, KC. Join me as I talk to different guests and learn more about their projects and passion for Sega. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 218. Oh, this, this, I usually do it like more suspensefully, right? So let's, let's try that again. Oh, Hello, hello everyone. It's only me. Hi, welcome to episode 218 <laughs> of the Sega Lounge. We're live. It's our live episode for the month of April. And I'm joined by, oh my God, who could they be? Could it be that back from Japan we have Skill Jim? It is, back from okay, Japan. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing, Casey? Doing great. Not that you spoil who you guests were this week. No, 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 no. No one knows who's, who's yeah. going to be. No, no. We, we haven't announced. And no one it, ever expects it, yeah. me to be on the show. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. This isn't the skill gym lounge or anything. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> very true, very true. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing well. Though. Thanks, Casey. Not that you asked, but yeah, I'm back from Japan. How are you I was, doing? I was going to, but yeah, thank you. Yeah, okay. So how, how was your time in Japan, by the way? Uh, yeah, pretty awesome. <clears throat> really enjoyed it. Did the... The old Shemu pilgrimage one day as well. Um, okay. Awesome. Nice trip. Awesome. Like, we'll we'll talk a little bit more about that in a, in a sec. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you for for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> let's talk about let's talk about not not let's say hello to our next unexpected guest. It's live reversed. Hello. Oh my God! It's the fruit. <laughs> yes. My gosh. Hi. Hello. Twitch sweetheart. Lime reversed. <laughs> Apparently, according, according <laughs> to some people. According to all sources. Yeah. yeah. Have 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 you have you recovered, Casey? Since I, last I'm not time? speaking to you, Lime. <laughs> I'm not speaking to you anymore. You're, you're wow. just here because I'm I'm uh, contractually obli obligated to have you on the show. So oh, I see. that's why. <laughs> How <laughs> you doing? See. Doing well. I'm doing good. Yeah. You're doing good. Always okay. uh, I, happy to be back here. I, I have I have a score to settle with you, but let's that's coming up next. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that's it. I see. Yeah, because right next, right now we have unexpected unexpected guest Boo. number three. Boo! <laughs> really, Boo? No. Get him off! Yay! Yay! It's Viper! <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> Yeah, yes, yes, yeah, wait. We we should oh, have they love like, me. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we have side effects. Okay, that's it. That, that's enough. How are you doing, Viper? Uh pretty pretty decent, all things considered. Looking forward to another unexpected appearance on the Sega Lounge. Exactly. No one knew you would come here tonight. What this a is, shocker. What, a, what a shocker. What a shocker. Yeah. What a shocker. Then we have this panel of lovely people. And myself as well here to talk about Sega. Yes. Ooh, hello. Oh, is this way? Yeah, it's this way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, a big shout out to people in chat. People in chat on Twitch, on Radio Sega's Discord. You can join us there, by the way. Go to twitch.tv. I mean, if you're watching this, you are already on twitch.tv slash the Sega Lounge. But if you're just listening, you can actually join the chat, the Radio Sega chat, by going to radiose.ca slash Discord. Word. Did you get that? I didn't. It was so fast that I, I didn't even understand what I said there. Radio se.ga slash Discord. Yeah, join us there. Uh, hello, Jumi. Jumi. Hello, hello. Resident Jumi. SD. And Lewis. Hello, Lewis. Welcome to, to the show. So, first of all, I wanted to mention that uh, unexpectedly to me, like behind my back, <laughs> These three people and and others, but especially one of them, not naming names, but especially one of them, uh, <laughs> did something uh, last week. Last week, and so if you're if you're not uh, yet uh, aware of that, last week while I was just like, I was invited on Lime's uh, Twitch channel for a normal interview to like talk about the 10 years of the Sega Lounge and we had this yeah. like scheduled for a month or so and um, all true all true all true all true mm -hmm. and uh, for some reason uh, I was asked to move the the airing of the premiere of 
the Sega Lounge, which always premieres on Radio Sega at 8 p.m. UK time on Thursdays, I was asked to move the the that uh, show an hour to, to an hour later. And I thought to myself, okay, I, I'm not aware of, aware of anything that's happening on Radio Sega on Thursday before my show, but it's okay. I, I, I'm not questioning Big Man Viper's decisions. So yes, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll move at, at the this show. Point, uh, at this point, yeah. I will say at this point, I thought that you might have connected the dots already. Like yeah. <laughs> I had scheduled you on my stream and then suddenly, like you were, you were asked to push back at that exact same time. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's probably connecting the dots here, but okay, fine. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope. Um, to be to be fair, uh, I I I I could have asked why. <laughs> I just <laughs> you've learned not to bother. <laughs> I I I mean, I I had so much on my on my plate that I didn't even think about like. Should I ask? Is that is that something that I should be aware of? No, I just okay. It's okay. I'll 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 do it later. Um, but uh, but yeah. But so uh, what what happened, Lime? Was uh, would you care to to share with the audience what happened for people not familiar with that well, amazing show that you hosted? Well, <laughs> thank you for that. Well, well, what happened was that we we did have an interview. Uh, we've talked about uh, loads of uh, different uh, different stuff. Um, the the little surprise that came the day before was that it's also it was also aired on Radio Sega, and um, you know we, we talked a little about uh, how you got into gaming, how you get into Radio Sega, uh, how you planned for the Sega Lounge and challenges and stuff about that. So that was very interesting. But what you didn't know was that it was a little bit more focused on the celebration part than you thought that it was. So I had um, done pre-interviews uh, about you uh, with the people that you worked with um, and asked them lots of questions about like how you are to work with. And um, they told very, Awful. very, very sweet, sweet, sweet <laughs> stories about what it is to work with you so that was that was amazing and yeah. another part how, how much did you pay everyone by the way you got paid people got paid <laughs> <laughs> do you have any idea the level of conversations me and lime had to have to keep it under wraps like one but still <laughs> casey's so nonchalant <laughs> over here meanwhile <laughs> we have a literal phone call saying how do we break the news to him about him figuring out that the delay is because of the uh, <laughs> no I couldn't care less <laughs> that's not even necessary yeah yeah i yeah. i, I I've, I've learned not to ask questions but you know next time i'll i'll, I'll do it i'll do it yeah, yeah, yeah. uh I'll, I'll ask meanwhile questions. meanwhile meanwhile yes. during these in, 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 interviews i was fishing for uh, what well, what you care about, like what the people that you are a fan of, and Money. you know things like that, just to get some <laughs> some in, in, information. Um, and uh, behind the scenes, I asked people to uh, record some congratulations messages for you. Uh, yeah. I asked the Radio Sega community, and then the people that I was uh, able to. Uh, reach, bribe. Oh, based, yeah. reach. Sure. Sorry, yeah. Reach based on the information that I that that I got. Uh, I reached out to Steve Lysett for that reason. Uh, that I found out that 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 was good. very surprising. That that was very very surprising. Uh, Steve Lysett, you got Eric Kelso. Eric I'm, Kelso, I'm yeah, sure, yeah. I'm sure someone else had. <laughs> a little bit to do with with that. Uh, yeah, yeah. someone <laughs> someone might have helped with that. Someone, yeah, 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 yeah. someone who was in Japan actually and required a, a I really went nice. To Eric video. Kelso's door, knocking on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So you got some. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. yeah. So you you so you got some surprise um, celebrity congratulations as well, like like um, Viper. Resident SD. Oh yeah, the, the big one, right? Twenty Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Yeah, she wrote a song <laughs> about me, like, like slamming me for for being such an awful person. I must say though 
that I, I, as I was listening to um, Sega Lounge episodes, just to figure more things out, and I heard that uh, Johnny G. Welly was one of your favorite vocalists, I was like, let's just try reaching out to him and see <laughs> what happens. That would be absolutely amazing. So I tried, I uh, went to um, like different uh, media, Twitter was one of them, and asked there, I didn't get an answer. I found out there was a Discord, and so I went in there and tried to at least get some science, some kind of attention, because I figured that this is something, because Johnny Gioli has been on the show twice, and has been a very appreciated member, appreci appreciated member, and so I figured that this is something that he would want to do as well. And then finally, one day, I just got a message like, here you go, and there was a recording <laughs> message for uh, Johnny. That was awesome as well. And yeah. I jumped up from my chair. Just I, I literally just jumped around my apartment and screamed and laughed because <laughs> holy crap, I was so happy that that worked out. Yeah, yeah, but but the, the fact that you you were able to everyone actually, no one told me. I I I recorded a show a few days earlier. I had recorded a show with Matt, who is mm. actually listening as well, watching to this right now. Shout out to Matt from Shenmue Dojo. Um, and he was in on it as well. And he didn't mm. even mention, like, there wasn't any hint from anyone. Like, I, I, that was, that was nice. I, I should have Matt's asked more questions. Matt's got a pretty good poker face, to be fair. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But uh, anyway, well, I'll, I'll leave the link to the, 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 the VOD, the VOD for, for this uh, in the, the show notes so people can, can watch it. And I wanted to say thank you very much to Lime, too. Jim, Viper, everyone involved. Very, very nice surprise. Uh, I, I was actually, I was, I got, got kind of emotional at some point, but then I, I, I maintained my. That composure. was a goal. Indeed. Yeah, yeah. And, and <laughs> I, I think you you've him. got. A, I, I think you've got a future on on like this line. This line of shows, Lime. I think you should you, should consider. You know, you are you are very kind. This. Yeah, you yeah. are very kind. Like to set expectations, <laughs> I kind of consider this as a one-time thing. Should I get um, another uh, urge or idea to go like, oh, I have to do this, then heck yeah. Because this was so much fun. And I absolutely love just shower showering people with love like that. It was amazing to do. It was really nice. Uh, so I would love to do it again. Unexpected and nice. Yeah. It, would also, it was anniversary. also a lot of work. So yeah. yeah, and speaking of the tenth anniversary, and before, before we've been talking about uh, the show itself for too long, it's like no, I I don't like to be that self centered, just a little bit. Uh, so just <laughs> one a little bit of news. Uh, I've been teasing this for a while, so it's now available. If you go to the Sega Lounge, I should actually get this. Should have got this to work prior to, but uh, if you go to the Sega Lounge and you go to the support, segalounge.com support section, you'll find new merch. New merch, actually, in the Ooh. merch uh, section should be showing up now. Yeah, no, this, you can also, also subscribe to the newsletter, but you, you got the merch section here. Uh, so the best amazing. way is to go to support, support, and then you have two options. And if you go to the merch section, you got the a couple of new TSL 10th anniversary items you can get for a special price. Actually, they're a little bit like they have a, a discount. Uh, the the T the T-shirt and the the cap they have a a discount for throughout the month of May. Starting now, actually, and throughout the month of May, they're a little bit uh, less pricey. <laughs> I mean, they're going to be stingy as of June again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like <laughs> a couple, a couple of, it, of it's in, it's in dollars here because it's, it's what the the store uses, but it's actually it actually converts to the, your, your preferred currency. If you're in Australia, shout out, you can use kangaroos as well. Uh, and you have the, like, <laughs> wow. I've I've been saying this for a long time, and we we keep getting more listeners from Australia. Is this the ticket to Australia's heart? Speaking of kangaroos, I don't know. Am I being offensive? Probably. Yes. yes. What could go wrong? 
Anyway, anyway, you also get the you also have like the 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 normal like current logo stuff available, but the tenth anniversary uh, stuff is now available if you want to support the show and look good. I would say nice while swag. while doing it, yeah. Some swag. And your stickers, KC, are cheaper than the the Sonic Symphony ones. So. Oh really? Okay, nice. <laughs> <laughs> your shirts easily undercut them three times, so you're good. <laughs> okay so so yeah that's that's it for you guys if you want to support the show just get on the sigalounge.com slash support having said that guys what's up so um what's i, I want to we've been talking about like the show for a long time so i wanted to know have you guys what have you guys been doing i know james let's start with you you've been to the japan any any like cool stories that you can tell us about japan May, Ooh, mostly probably Shenmue related. I mean, there is cool stories, but I can't really talk about it at the moment. But yeah, that Dubuy today was uh, <laughs> very special. Um, you said actually special on the side indie. recorded my little my little clip. Your <laughs> that was amazing. amazing special show. Yeah, yeah, Good. it was so well timed. Oh, I loved that idea. It was such a good mm-hmm. idea. <laughs> yeah, met up with Switch from PhantomRiverstone.com. I had a wonderful day with him. Actually, three wonderful days with him. Um, we did a, <laughs> a couple of little skits as well. We went to, so there's like a harbour district. So near Dubuita Street, there is like, if you walk further down, there is like a little harbour area. But he actually took me on a bus along a road for like 20 minutes to like the actual harbour, like the oh, Japan no. side, not the US side, the Japan side. And that is more based on the harbour in Shamu. We walked around the warehouses and stuff, and um, we did a little, a little skit where he, he pretended to be the homeless guy, and I went and bought him a hot coffee. Um, so I might release that soon, just the little skit we did. It was a, a lot of fun. But yeah, it's, just, it's amazing seeing, seeing the Shenmue sites in person and like how even now, I mean, that was like supposed to be 1986, 87. Even in 2024, you can still see like through the eyes of a Shenmue fan, you can see things that you recognize from the game. And he also showed me the area where the gantry crane, you know, the big crane that you can yeah. see in the harbor? Yeah, where that used to be. So there is just like a little discolorization concrete. But <laughs> it's, uh, it's nice to see that. I took a photo of that, even though there's mm-hmm. nothing there. It's just, it's what you do. But yeah. yeah, no, I had a really great time. Awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome stuff. Three weeks. Yeah. Did you learn any Japan, like martial arts Japan, okay. moves? <laughs> I didn't learn any, but I practiced some, of course, under a in a back nice alley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just outside a shrine. So there's like this, this shrine area that kind of looks a little bit like the Hazuki Dojo, and there's like a there was a big cherry tree. So oh, I nice. did my pit blow and my counter elbow assault, <laughs> and then I also took a photo of Switch doing. Some similar sort of move. It looked cool, actually. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Excellent. Excellent. So for the rest of you, how was Japan? Lime and Hyper? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually. actually how, how, how Sweden, I can't talk about it. How Sweden, Lime? I would like Sweden to go Sweden. Sweden is uh, normal for me. It's, um, it's as it's always been. Because <laughs> I live there, Same so it's ever. not going to be like a very exotic thing for me being here. Sluta. Yeah, I mean, the, which which yeah. means like stop, right? So not, not a good yeah. word to use right now, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. I will. <laughs> okay. I'll I'll yeah, please, please. And that's the end. Yeah. <laughs> that's the end. Yeah. Um, have you guys been playing anything special that you want to share? Oh, I finished Jakarta Zero the other day on stream. Oh. <laughs> nice. So yeah. Did you love it? Find that line. So my second ever Yakuza game finished, and I still absolutely love this series. What was so, the, the first one? Yeah. That you played? Um, uh, like a dragon, Yakuza like a dragon, like oh, a dragon okay. seven. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you enjoy yeah. like a dragon more than Zero or? Oh, I I think I did enjoy uh, Like a Dragon more. Yeah, I I think I did. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's, 
happier, perhaps. <laughs> it was, I mean, it's not it's, really that happy. It's of close, a story, but, but yeah, I would, I, I, I would give the edge to um, like a dragon. Yes, like Casca is more like turn a, I, Is is that it, or is it that like like the 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 general vibe of Casca? He's like more upbeat and happy and. The friendship. I mean, I mean, it's that. Yeah, I I like Kasuga like a little bit more as a character. Uh, I think that I, uh, I I I didn't get into the the like how you actually play uh, like the fighting style in Yakuza Zero. I felt like I. I found ways around it so that I didn't really have to learn like the ins and outs of, of the fighting. Mm -hmm. And as a result, I didn't have as much fun with it because I felt I was cheesing it a little bit. But it was was easier to do rather than learn. So Okay. Yeah. Yeah. At least you could enjoy the, the story, right? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. story is always great. I mean I enjoy the fighting as well. Like don't don't <laughs> get me wrong. I enjoyed it as well. It's just like that little edge to the turn base because I felt like I understood that more. Okay. Okay. Nice. What about you, Viper? Anything special you've been playing or doing or want to share? Uh, I've been playing Puyo Puzzle Pop. I don't, I don't think I could consider that special, but apparently not a lot of people have uh, Apple devices despite the uh, huge metric. If you look under any of Sega's social media posts, you'd get the impression that only five people own Apple devices. <laughs> but... Uh, I say not very special because uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> there he is. Are you are you leaking the uh, document that we're looking is at that, right is now? Is that our outline? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're seeing the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Still, the screen, okay, there know. we go. There we go. Now, now it's like, yeah. I mean, I'm, so I one, I'm one of five. <laughs> leaking <to> someone else. <laughs> I can't talk too much <laughs> on the new content that dropped yesterday. So maybe that's okay. entirely fixed the game, but I somewhat doubt it. <laughs> you got some issues with it then. Yeah, I... most of it just being it's unfinished, I okay. think, personally. In okay. what way, Fighter? Uh, there's literally, uh, uh, spoilers, not really, but there's literally no ending. It's just not in the So game the story yet. isn't finished yet, oh. is that it? Yeah, they just added two new uh, main story campaigns yesterday, I believe. And the plan is once all the characters are out, they're each going to have their own story mode. So you're waiting for all the characters oh, okay. to get added in subsequent okay. up. Which, okay. like, don't get me wrong, I'm sure in a year down the line, unlike Sonic, it wasn't funded by Apple, so I'm sure it will come to Switch or whatever <laughs> fully complete. But right now, <laughs> it's just, just the waiting game, really. Will it? Will it, though? Uh, I mean... <laughs> is Choo Choo Rocket hope. funded by Apple? It no, was, yeah. I, don't I think know. it was. Was it? Yeah, it was, I think it was I thought, one of the first uh, two games that like that Apple Arcade had. Like the, one it of was them, a launch game, wasn't it? one of the ones that they they announced at launch, like made a big fanfare mm. out of it. Yeah, so I think this is what Jim wanted to do. Oh, there we go. Right? Yeah, yeah. There we go. yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah, we can put your your puzzle pop. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. No, we that, <laughs> all, <laughs> yeah. all three of the five. It's a good measure. Uh, is, is you right. can actually play it on Apple TV. That's a good way to play it, actually. Yeah, and you can use the controller. You can also use a controller on on an iPhone. But yeah, yeah. Um, May I mention uh, another thing? Like yeah, after sure. this? Sure. No. Well, right now, like you can. Like do it now? Right now? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like I, I, I received a package today. From uh, special effect. Oh, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, 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 it turns out that during Game Blast, special effect had this competition. <laughs> oh, yeah, you won something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I, I yeah, remember yeah. that. I remember seeing that. Yeah, uh, like the, the, honestly, I I didn't even know there there was a competition. I think I saw a tweet <laughs> about it, but I kind of like. <laughs> For God, for forgot about it, and then I got an SMS. Uh, not, not not an SMS. I got a message, uh, going like, "Hey, like you, you won the funniest clip of uh, of uh, Game Blast." <laughs> what? Wow! I did what? <laughs> and ring generates and I, content. The, the, I I I am absolutely so honored. Like there were so many 
like I'm, i mean there's so many people must have sent in sent in clips there um and a- apparently they liked my clip the most so i got a pair of uh as I, I a pair of no i got a headset okay Ooh. was it a pair of uh, okay yeah no a yeah a pair of headsets too a pair of headsets. yeah no no, no. <laughs> one yeah. for each side I, <laughs> I i i thought that the phrase was a pair of headsets but no that that's two it headsets, kind of sounds right. right actually it does sound right still it should be saying. right it yeah, should be a pair of headphones wouldn't it Pair of headphones. That's, that's yeah. just true. ignore it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's head- a headset, yeah. right? It's a set. It's so a it, one, one thing. it actually makes sense. So this, yeah. I think, was the like. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That was <laughs> a bit weird. Clip. Clip, yes, indeed. Right? The clip yeah. in question. <laughs> yeah. I don't hear anything, though. Like, I'm no, no, no. It's no sound, and... no sound. But it, it's like, <laughs> just make up your own sounds if you want. Yeah. Mm. Think about think about Sonic Lost World. Uh, Lost World? Y- yeah. Isn't the song from Sonic Lost World you were singing? Like oh, yes, it is. Oh. It is. Yeah, yes, like yes, the yes, yes. Owl With the uh, thingy. Yeah. Yeah. Na, 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 which which I suggested to you, lyrics. by the way. What? Because you, you, which I suggested to you because you wanted yes, one you that did. was you Sega. Did. It was your, uh, it was I, your uh, idea. It was yeah. your idea. Really proud of that as well. One of my. I wanted the classical song that goes like. Do 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 like the one from Carmen. Yeah. La 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 like, I, I I do appreciate in humiliating myself. Anyway, thank you very much for sharing these uh, really nice moments. And we already covered, unknowingly perhaps, we already covered one of the news bits we had here. So Puyo Puyo Puzzle, Puyo Puyo Puzzle <gasps> Pop. I just right. noticed it's P P P P. Uh, Puyo Puyo Puzzle <laughs> Pop. Try saying that three times fast. Tongue twister. Released on Apple Arcade earlier this month and we've already talked about it um, i think Oops. myself and james have <laughs> similar experiences with it we played like 10 minutes of the game yeah from it's the 10 minutes you? i played it i thought it was great <laughs> i thought it was great. Pop I, I, I gonna be like really yeah. happy with it because it just felt like a complete game but then i'm learning if you play it a little bit longer than 10 minutes it's not so complete <laughs> <laughs> I, I did play it and and i i can uh, safely say that it, it is a Puyo game, yes. It, it, it yes. is indeed a Puyo it game. It is one yes. of the games. And it does do things when you connect like Puyos, yes, and it's like, like the explode and, and stuff. Voice acting. It's voice nice. acting. I just, it, oh, it, it, that's a good point. Fully is, It's well. fully voiced. Fully voiced. Even all the DLC is going to be fully voiced. Or, Excellent. you know, the subsequent updates as well. Yeah. So I'll, I definitely need to spend more time with it so we can actually have a, a proper discussion on on the on the show later later how about an yeah. interview with said voice actors <laughs> don't that, promise the people that, what can't happen i'm i'm not <laughs> going to promise anything but that's that's a nice idea maybe we can make it happen who knows okay so moving on uh because we, we we've been talking a lot about other stuff so let's very quickly uh, just cover the news before we get into our main topic for the evening which is uh most iconic Sega characters. I, I predict there's going to be blood here, or maybe not. We'll see. But let's <laughs> let's get started with a few news. So very quickly, I, I actually, uh, you know, structured this in a very structured uh, way, I think. We start with game releases, trailers, and stuff. So first of all, we uh, just learned, or a few days ago we learned, that C-Smash VRS is getting... Uh, a proper like PS5 version, non VR version, which is coming late summer 2024. Uh, I know for a fact that you've played the VR version, right, James? I have indeed. Yeah, love it. Yeah. 
there one you of go. my favorite VR games. <laughs> one of like five people who own a PSVR too. Like, yeah, yeah, and an iPhone. Amazing game. Oh well, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Apple Arcade. <laughs> Got all, all three of the big toys. Wow. <laughs> for the show. <laughs> That's it. That's it. The the the, so, the tech required to be a Sega fan. Yeah. Basically. Um, so so does that mean that the VRS the VR doesn't actually stand for VR virtual reality? It is actually versus. Does that confirm that it's actually CR or C Smash versus? Right. Because okay. this isn't a VR game. Right? Right? Oh, it's still VRS C versus could be Smash VRS Next Generation or something. Or new, or it's new, usually VS, but VRS could work as well versus. Mm. Yeah. Versus. Okay. A very realistic sim could also be. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I can't Virtual think of racket can't in space. Up. Virtual racket space. Yeah, virtual works. racket in space, not virtual. It's okay, it's virtual. Uh, very racketing. No. <laughs> very. <laughs> yeah. But it's in space, so it could work. I don't know. I don't know what they they mean. I I thought I think it was like VR virtual reality. You think it was? I think that's the idea, the original one, right? Yeah. But uh, maybe this will make people more people get into this. Uh, Yeah, I'll definitely whenever I get a PS Five, which I haven't got yet, but probably later this year, um, I'll I'll try C Smash VRS. It's a game that I think I'll enjoy very much. I'm a big fan of tennis games, so. It looks very yes. fun. And I, I, I like the original one. Yeah, but it's <laughs> you've got a racket or a pedal. I don't know. Fake fan. <laughs> you've got a racket in badminton. I'll just make it tennis. That's true. <laughs> Fair it's enough. a shuttlecock no motorball. Anyway. <laughs> moving on. Moving swiftly on. Uh, another bit of news that uh, is actually... Really nice because we all, I think, loved this game. Uh, yeah. Sonic Dream Team uh, had its content update to trailer releasing and, and the content itself as well. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm sure Lime has. <laughs> I have not, actually. Oh, surprising. And the, the reason is streaming. I would definitely have tried this, uh, but I'm um, waiting for the next opportunity to stream this game. And I need to finish Sonic and the Secret Rings first. Okay. So oh, I'm going to get to it. Make believe we're bored. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I didn't hear that. <laughs> he, can't, I, he can't even stand the, the song anymore. Uh, uh, yeah, make police be born. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, have you guys tried it? I haven't yet, so maybe... I've not tried it now. Viper? I will yes, do, though. Yes, I have tried it. Um oh. It's okay. I'm, I'm not going to be as negative as Puyo. Uh, it feels a little disjointed in places, <laughs> the level design, but hmm. I don't know if that's just me forgetting how this game plays and controls and everything, but it felt very like stop-starty uh, in a way that I can't really describe, but more Sonic Dream Team is a good thing. I just hope we get a proper sequel at some point rather than just like quick level packs. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping, but I honestly yeah, don't know. Yeah, a sequel of this. Yeah, I didn't feel as strong to me as the base game's content, but as like a free update that's tacked onto a finished game, it's it's pretty good stuff. So can't complain too much, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah. find a way. And yeah. they are introducing they are introducing S ranks now as well. Now you're oh, speaking no. my language. <laughs> Heck yeah! <laughs> now he can 100 percent complete it. Yes. For real. <laughs> For real, yes. And I feel like I, I, I think that they talked about wanting to add like more difficulty as well. And I think that's what they did. Yeah, yeah. Too. When they came on the show, they talked about that, I yeah. think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, James, you wanted to say something? I was just wondering if they were gonna add more content packs like this with a view to make like a console port, are they like trying to flesh the game out so it's a releasable game on a console as well? You think could be i don't know <laughs> like they, I, I don't they, think, they I would don't love they to can... see it on other other yeah. other platforms but it's still up yeah. in the air like if that's gonna happen i don't think they can talk about it yeah but i got the feeling they've got like that might be the plan. 
there, there, there's probably an agreement with Apple in place. Like, there's like that. There should be at least an exclusivity period, if not mm. something else. Yeah, like, probably, probably. So they, they also they want to want people to pay for Apple Arcade. So they can't. We'll never that. know unless they leak the screenshots like Monkey Ball before the game oh, yeah. can come out. <laughs> <laughs> have they have they talked about the PC version yet? It's still just no. Switch, they, right? it's same deal. They won't talk about it for like half a year, a year. I reckon. Okay. Right? Okay, okay. However long Nintendo or, bought, I'd assume. Or so- Sonic Toy Party, or whatever that game was that we talked about. Oh, last time. oh yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is like one of the okay. biggest Sonic leaks, isn't it? Though? <laughs> if yeah, Casey wants to keep his that. friends, we know nothing about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would love. We, to t- play we that. talked about it last month, so yeah. Oh, mm. oh we okay. The footage. <laughs> Never mind. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no friends here. I'm friendless. Anyway, uh, last bit of like trailers and, and announcements and stuff um, is I, I we weren't gonna talk I, I wasn't gonna talk about anything like fan related. There were a few things fan related things that I wanted to mention, but for time reasons I set it against that. But this is so freaking good that I, I think we need to talk about this. It's um, oh, the right. Shenmue oh, reclaiming the path trailer. Yep. By George Kitchen. This is a fan game that uh, is just like amazing. It's like he's using uh, all the Dreamcast assets, the 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 assets from the the Dreamcast games, to create a parallel story set mm-hmm. in the world of Shenmue. In the world of Shenmue Three, basically in Guilin, right? Yeah, uh, by the and, village, and it's like. It's just amazing, right? It looks just awesome. insane. It is insane. It's insane that he, he's he's recreated the whole of Bailey Village that you can see in this sweeping shot yeah. here. Wow! That is a Shamu Three Unreal Four engine built town, <laughs> and he's made <laughs> it look like it's shot. it's Dreamcast. It's just it's yeah. so cool. And, and it's like he's saying, tying it's like, the the games together as well using characters that yeah. we know from the the, the original oh, yeah. games, right? That's what I was just going to say, like like you're saying about the parallel story. It's like he's filling in some gaps in a sense, because in a moment you see the Chiyu Man helicopter that mm-hmm. is like at the end of the Kowloon rooftop, like landing on the, the ladder. It's heading to Bailey Village, and he's sort of integrated that into the story that he's telling within this little fan game. Obviously not canon, but it's just, it as a Shemu fan, seeing these little things that we know what that moment is actually happening and it's just it's so cool it's so colorful and it just looks it looks so good and i i love guilin it's like my favorite part of the series so far so this is like it's it's, it's bit literally built for me that yeah. this shot here is just incredible Th- this is beautiful this is beautiful mm. yeah and the, the yeah, helicopter, helicopter there <laughs> this is awesome this is awesome so it's coming uh, is it fall or like September? Have we... September the sixteenth. Oh, okay. yeah. Very ambitious so, to announce mm. that as a date. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know okay. how feature creep goes, but I'm true, looking forward true. to it. But they work so hard, man. He's 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 done what you're seeing now literally yeah. since Christmas because he, yeah, he cause released the game on your before Christmas. Podcast. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dreams oh, of Saturn. Wow. It was just like a Christmas game. So yeah. literally three months. Three or four months later, this is this is his next game, and this is the state that it looks mm-hmm. like. <laughs> it's just crazy. But like the the um, the fact that he's he was able to do this with like assets from the original games, mm. and this we we could have had this on the Dreamcast, like, that, like that, Shenmue that, Three that, that on lady the Dreamcast. Seen, that was a Shenmue Three character, so they've yeah. actually downgraded a Shenmue Three model yeah. to make it look Dreamcast and. Like mm-hmm. Matt says in the chat there, Joe's actually made this trailer. So George is making the game. And mm-hmm. then jo- obviously Joe, uh, Joe helps a little bit and uh, has helped create this trailer. Yeah. It just looks awesome. So reclaiming the path, which makes sense mm-hmm. if you've played Shenmue 2. Uh, mm-hmm. the, the path. And, Especially uh, what they're going for there with the wood and yeah, you know the, the Guang Martial Arts School, that mm-hmm. sort of area where it's like, you know, he's that homeless looking guy, the street performer, I forget his name. It's like show, show Quan or something. Um, oh yeah. He's, September 16th. He, he, he came off the path. So it's kind of like him 
reclaiming the path, I guess. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. And helping out in a way <laughs> and mm -hmm. fighting the chi men. So it makes, it will make sense uh, then, but it's, it's actually something that I'm looking forward to. And of course, if you're curious about the, the kitchen brothers, George and Joe, just like check out the Shenmue Dojo. They've got a lot of interviews and, and content about them. And I'm guessing yep. they'll have to come on the show as well at some time. At some oh, point, you've got to get them on the show. Yeah, definitely. yeah for sure. Long yeah, overdue. So updates, updates will be on the dojo, and you'll also find like there's been like a wealth of fun games recently. I know you did have it in the in the notes earlier, Casey. I will just give it a quick mention, but that virtual pet Chobu Chan. Yeah. Another little game that someone else has come out with. So Siam. Or Sayom, I don't know how you, you say the, the person's name, Sayom, I think it is, has created this little Tamagotchi style Chobuchan game. So Chobuchan is like a little thing that you find in all of the shops and the stalls in Niawu, like the second half of Shimu 3. And yeah, just incredible that someone's made like a pixel art Tamagotchi style game that you can just run on your PC. And <laughs> yeah, it's crazy some of the, what the Shemu fans are doing recently. It's crazy that we, we went through a phase of like uh, demanding stuff and, and drawing and, and creating art and, and stuff. And now we yeah. have like people with the skill, the required skill, creating proper games and good games, actually. Fine. Uh, the Dreams of Center was amazing. So, so in, in the Chobu Chan uh, little game was awesome as well. Like <laughs> a more of, of a novelty, yeah. but. Nice, nice mm. to have as well. And it shows that people can get creative and, and support their their favorite series that way. Yeah, so that's it for, for, for like news of games, incoming games and stuff. But we now have a very brief, I, I keep saying brief on these live shows, uh, very brief <laughs> section uh, related, related to the community and charity thing. So two very quick, Things. First of all, friend of the show, Sam Procrastinates, is doing Raising Rings, which is a new annual Sonic charity. Like, that's a bit like out there. A new annual. So he's like, we haven't done this yet, but let's, let's do it annually. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it'll be a success. So it, it's in support of special effects. It's a streaming event. Uh, May 2nd to May 5th. So it's next weekend if you're listening to this or watching live or if you're listening to the show after uh, it dropped. It's next weekend, May 2nd to May 5th. Uh, and not only Sam is involved in this, but also he's inviting anyone from the community yeah. mostly to, to Even join. Even you. Even you. <laughs> that means that you. I want to say that again, Viper. That's it. Even you. Oh my God, I'm scared now. Oh, oh my God. You have to Especially join in you. now. Especially you. And you there. <laughs> and you there. Um, yeah, so that's that's something that's coming up and uh, it's in support of special effects. So that's always uh, something that we, we can get behind. Um, I'm actually, unfortunately, not around that this weekend or the weekend when this happens. Otherwise, I would be very happy to take part. Uh, but I'm sure some of our some listeners people, and people from yeah. the community, and maybe even some people here, um, <laughs> will 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 think about that. Maybe Viper. Viper's like I, I'm thinking hand. about it. I've not actually put any action into it yet, but I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Okay. More news soon, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So May second to May fifth. So you just keep on looking out for news on that. We'll we'll retweet stuff uh, that we come across as well during the next week. Also, uh, special effect related and also community charity related. Uh, Radio Sega's own Viper is bringing back Segathon. Um, and do you wanna? Uh, rephrase that <laughs> what did i say he said me i'm not doing it oh, so I'm i not, said viper I... no i want to say gavi sorry <laughs> no 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 uh gavi radio so radio sega's own i was gonna say it again radio sega's own gavi is bringing back segathon for a fourth edition this year raising money for special effects from uh, so it's 
A 24-hour event, if you're not familiar with uh, Segathon, he's done it three times in the past, and it's like a 24-hour radio show on Radio Sega. 10 p.m. Wow. UK time on Saturday the 18th of May until 10 p.m. UK time on Sunday the 19th of May live on Radio Sega. And it's also in support of Special Effect. So do check that out during the month. I'm talking about this now because the next live show we'll do is we're going to be it's going to be at the end of the month. So after this happens, and I wanted to uh, bring some awareness to this event as well yep. because awesome. we love special effect, and you should always try to support special effect whenever you can. That's it for community charity news and uh, coming up. Some Sonic stuff, or is it? Heck yeah! Or is it Shadow stuff? I don't know. <laughs> so, um, fearless, fearless is the name of uh, the year of Shadow the Hedgehog. For some reason, is it? Is it supposed to be? Is it supposed to be that? Is Shadow fearless? <laughs> and we have this trailer here with the like. Biker girl, I guess, who moved <laughs> with her family, misses her friends in the city, says home is cool, and then uh, imaginary Shadow the Hedgehog helps her face her enemies, who will become friends, I guess. Mm. There he goes. Yeah. Control no guns, your own though, eh? path. Sorry? No guns around kids. <laughs> 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 but chaos control, which is now a bike uh, move, like a BMX move or something <laughs> special move. It's called chaos control in in honor of Shadow the Hedgehog. Um, yeah, so the year of Shadow is twenty twenty four apparently, um, which means did you notice there will the be... the other children there are all different, like Sonic colors? Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the end. They, oh, wait, let, let me just rewind that a little bit. There we go. No, even better like this. There we go. So That's they, very true. Wow. You have Knuckles, Tails, Shadow, Sonic, and Amy, I suppose. Dream team. Yeah. New friend. Oh, wait. Friends. Now you go. Now it's <laughs> friends. Now it spells friends. New friends. Um, New foes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's the year of Shadow the Hedgehog 2024. Are we expecting anything special apart from the the movie and the the game? Is it just like a publicity stunt? Well, Any thoughts, guys? didn't didn't Sonic wear Shadow skin in Sonic Superstars a couple months ago? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's true. Mm. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Poor, poor guy got skinned alive. <laughs> <laughs> it's classic Shadow though. He didn't really exist. So, like I'm so looking it's, forward to Shadow Generations, though. I, uh, I want to play it so badly. There's a, a, a Shadow the Hedgehog, a custom Shadow inspired uh, motorcycle um, that will be shown uh, during the Mo MotoGP Red Bull Grand Prix in Texas. Oh, it's it's been shown already, actually. April 12th to <laughs> the late. 13th. Too late. <laughs> it's it's done. You you. You can watch you can go, that on TV, I think. Go there if you want. <laughs> on the You'll internet. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope the pilot didn't have guns during the, the race. That wouldn't be nice. <laughs> uh, there's a Lego set with, with Shadow. Can it uh, make a fun Shadow the Hedgehog escape plan? Okay. Um, and obviously, Shadow Sonic Cross Shadow or Sonic X Shadow Generations. I don't know what the correct way of saying this is um th these are things we already know um there's more you can also play the fearless events in sonic forces mobile and in sonic dash Whee. so mm -hmm. for people who with mobile games uh or who like to play these games the sonic speed cafe will also feature uh, some shadow th uh, themed products that's it and there will be uh, additional Shadow-inspired or related scores in Sonic Symphony uh, for people. Sorry, that says World Tour, just to be clear, right? 
Yeah, yeah. Well, they seem to be spending a lot of time in America for a world tour. <laughs> <laughs> Still yeah, waiting just, just for the Portuguese uh, concert, actually. Yeah. So yeah, that's a good point. They're like nice. it's like America's like seventy five percent of the world, and then there's every, everything else. <laughs> Japan exists. Don't forget Japan and <laughs> they've been there. Paris. They've been there. They're going to like, Paris they're in June, like I once think. Or twice. Yeah. I, I get an email like about they. I we've been to like five cities in Texas. I'm like, okay, <laughs> five cities in Texas. It feels Texas. like that sometimes. It's a big state. <laughs> it's a big state. <laughs> Shout out to people in Texas. I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, or I don't know if it's still true, but at some point, uh, the 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 most uh, Texas had the most number of listeners um for for the sega launch which are those five cities in texas i don't know i don't know just the state <laughs> i just had analytics for the state. did i know was it dallas or is it just like because that's the capital of the state and i that's the city that popped into my brain written right now i don't know but shout out to uh texans who enjoy the sega lounge and who've enjoyed several of the Sonic Symphony concerts, apparently, according to Viper. <laughs> Generally not, just like a city slash L, not a state that I just like pulled up out of anywhere. No, this is factual. <laughs> take, take it at face value. <laughs> okay. Also related to, to Shadow, and this got uh, Viper, not Viper, sorry. Uh, I keep saying Viper, <laughs> it's just Viper. Um, Lime. This got Gabby? very <laughs> Gabby and, and uh, Lime as well. He, he got very excited about this news. Yeah, very much right? so. Very much so. Keanu Reeves as the shad as the voice of Shadow. I mean, come on. The, this is what I I like everybody seemed to want, and it happened. <laughs> like every time when I heard the question, like, oh, who would you like to see voiced as Shadow? Keanu Reeves always came up in that discussion and it freaking happened and i think it would be such a good fit i'm so excited for this as it says Freak. here the john wick star john wick star so <laughs> yeah he's he's perfect for the role of uh, like a gun wielding hedgehog yeah yeah, yeah. for sure breathtaking, breathtaking. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it at least that's it wasn't it. chris nice. pratt eh? <laughs> <laughs> your breath <laughs> yeah uh, also, and to just close this like Sonic slash Shadow related segment, Knuckles. Uh, the Knuckles show premieres tomorrow on Paramount Plus. Saturday for oh, those us guys. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Uh, I have no idea because oh, I have really? no clue how to watch it in Portugal. Maybe I think we do have Paramount Plus somehow. We talked about this two months ago, if I'm not mistaken. So let's not <laughs> we get. We still in, don't know. <laughs> let's not get there. Uh, let's not go there. But we, I still don't know. I, I have to look it up. Uh, but if you're listening to this to the 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 podcast when like close to to release, it's probably now available. You can. Watch the Sky the Showtime. Show. It'll be says. on Sky Showtime, I'd imagine. Casey says Resident ST. Thank you very much. I, I do yeah, remember that's he, the case in, in Sweden saying as well. that before. <laughs> it's not Paramount Plus well, in Sweden. Said. It's uh, Sky Showtime. Sky Showtime as well. Okay, so yeah. yeah. So Sky Showtime for people in Europe, apparently. And Sky Showtime. Sky Showtime. Showtime. Sky Showtime. Yeah. Sky Showtime. It's Sky Showtime. Okay, uh, this is turning into a, a free ad for Sky Showtime, <laughs> and we don't. We only do those for TerraPlayer.com. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, final bit of news, and I wanted to leave this till the end as the last one because I'm not sure what to think about this. I want to get your you guys uh, input on this. Uh, Golden Axe is getting a 10-episode animated TV series from Comedy Central. Uh, and apparently we have some clothing ads here. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, clothing this is ads? I, by the way, I, 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 I want to give a, a big shout-out to timeextension.com. I do love the work they do. They're a, a great website. And they're always sharing great, like, retro-themed stuff. Um, and it's a great source for news um, and like interesting tidbits of information that happen uh, in the retro gaming scene. But 
a show, an animated TV series from Comedy Central uh, in the Golden Axe universe uh, from the writers behind Star Trek Lower Decks and American Dad. I don't know what to think of this, to be honest. Uh, thoughts, guys? Does, because it's on commentary, com Comedy Central, does that definitely mean it's going to be a comedy? Or do they have like serious stuff occasionally? I think more than think that, so. it's because it's written by, it's going to be written by the Star Trek The Lower Decks show, which is like an animated comedy show. It's a comedy, uh, okay. Around American the, the Star Trek <laughs> uh, universe. American Dad definitely is. So I do. Th and also, Danny Putty, uh, Putty, 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 I think, from Community and other like comedic roles, you may know him of. Uh, he's joining as well as a new character called Hampton Squib, which okay, I yeah. <laughs> think will be like comic relief. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it might be great. <laughs> I'll I'll check it out. It's it seems a bit of a random one though, really, isn't it? It's like one of those throwaway articles from like a couple of years ago, like Space Channel Five's getting a movie, Comic Zone's getting a movie. Golden Axe is getting a comedy show. Yeah. <laughs> well, this one's actually happening, right? Yeah. And the synopsis is, uh, Golden Axe follows veteran warriors X battler Tyrus Flair, and Gilius Thunderhead as they once again battle to save Yuria from the evil giant Death Adder, who just won't seem to stay dead. <laughs> Fortunately, this time they have the inexperienced and underprepared Hampton Squib on their side. So this <laughs> is like reeks of comedy. To me, I don't know about you. Just like I am very curi curious about this. Yeah, I, 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 I want to see what this turns out to be. I, I think it will be funny. Uh, I think yeah. they will. Yeah, I think so. Be yeah. able to make it. Is it what what people would expect from Golden Axe? Probably not. Will it like what? tie in with the game that's coming? What what age range do you think it's going to be? I think it's going to be my an adult show or yeah, they reeks of like adult comedy yeah. central. I mean, American Dad kind of says all you need to know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 and like m maybe some like gory stuff as well. Mm, yeah, throw it probably. in, keep them happy. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, Matt from Shenmue Dojo says, "How can they make that and not Shenmue anime season two? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It pains the soul. It really does. <laughs> yeah. So at least, I, if we can't have that, I'll take the AXA TV show, which will sometime get finished as a second place. <laughs> since I think that was news about that last year. So we got a couple Sega TV series in the line yeah. now, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> as Skill Jim said, it's, it's just like we just announce these projects and just throw them at the wall, and hopefully one of them completes like preliminaries or whatever. <laughs> It feels like at this I'm point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, an animated TV series seems like easier to do. Yeah, for sure. Right? So it's it's a good fit. And in this like fantasy world and would, would fans expect a, a comedy or want a comedy out of this game? I don't know. But why not? <laughs> why not? I yeah, I, I was kind of surprised uh, surprised that it would be that genre. I don't know why. I just guess I never imagined uh, Golden Axe as comedy per se, but Same. I think it could be good. I think that's that. But like, if you make it purely fantasy, like surely it's just going to become like Lords of, Lord of the Rings light, right? Yeah. Like, the, it's just something that's already going to be tread. So I think they go, oh, at least this hasn't been like a tread ground before if we move it into comedy. I would have mm. thought. Uh, so that's the only sense I can make. Hypothetically, if this show does amazingly well as a comedy and we've got a Golden Axe game coming, are they going to shoehorn some comedy into the game? Because <laughs> <laughs> the, the fans are going to be expecting it at that point. We we heard something possible. about like uh, the the new game would be like souls like souls like oh, game <laughs> right like very hard and and violent and stuff 
and gory, perhaps. I'm not sure if it ties in with the show that well. I wouldn't have thought so. But I just meant like if the show is like a massive hit. Yeah, will they will they like backtrack and, and change um I don't know. If you like this, here's something completely different. <laughs> exactly. The the lower decks show, I don't know if you've watched it. I think I watched a couple of episodes I think last year or something, and I really enjoyed it. It's like a really funny show. Yeah, like, that parodies. I've, I've had that as well. Star Wars, uh, Star Trek. Sorry. Ooh. Oh my God! <laughs> blast for me! Blast for me! No, Star Trek. How Star Trek. dare you? Yeah, uh, but it does really well in in that regard, like being a parody of the of the whole universe, the whole Star Trek universe, and like uh, playing around with, with some of the tropes from from the, the Star Trek shows and movies. Uh, Maybe you can have both. Like you have like the serious Star Trek shows, and you have like the the, the funny animated one. You yeah, I mean, you do that with Sonic, so why not? It's true. true. Yeah. Hopefully, it's successful. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of games are being made into TV shows now and having success success in getting people back into the original games. That's a good point. So, uh, by the way, I, I I haven't shared what I've been playing. I've been playing Fallout Four again. Because I watched the Fallout TV show, which is very good. Definitely recommend it. And I just craved Fallout content and went back into Fallout 4. Uh, And I know many people are getting into the original Fallout games, uh, which is interesting. (laughs) Because these are like, uh, Fallout I think is like eight or nine years old at this point, uh, Fallout 4. And there are people playing Fallout 4, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, which are like even older games, uh, Fallout 76, which is more recent. <laughs> no, but no, I was playing that. <laughs> they, th- yeah, but they they released, they didn't release anything to tie, wi- tie in with the show, but they capitalized on the show uh, because people are coming back to, to the older games and more people are buying the older games which have been on sale uh, recently. People have been buying them. So maybe that's... Uh, that happened with, with Shenmue as well, like that people watched the anime and, and picked up the games. Yeah. So and they it, did make a second series, which they're already confirmed to be doing with uh, Fallout. So... <laughs> different people involved, <laughs> including different uh, game developer as well. Uh, yeah. But... That said, I think it would be nice to, if it's a successful show in some way, maybe people will want to play the the Golden X game, even if it's very, very different. Right, that's it for news. Thank you very much for for your uh, input on these news. We'll we'll see, right? We'll see, we'll get more news on this, I believe, soon-ish, especially the Golden X series. As it develops, we'll we'll share on the show as well. get into the main topic of the show i think we did a very good job getting through all of that and even more things like the 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 beginning of the show as well and we have like an hour left to uh talk about the main topic which is based on which is wait it's based on this on this um press release by the bafta organization lara croft crowned most iconic video games character of all time According to BAFTA poll, yeah. uh, anyone care to comment on that? First of all, <laughs> would would the uh, British people in the room like to take uh, their apologies now for uh, <laughs> this gaming clickbait headline doing the rounds? <laughs> uh, ridiculous. I mean, really. Laura Laura Croft <laughs> is a hella iconic. Is it? So if, yeah, I'm yeah, not like, yeah. surprised at all. Easily the most iconic it's character the that list. we've put into the world hmm. as a as a place, right? So it makes sense that a uh, not a forum, what's the word? Like a group made up entirely of like British BAFTA, um, what's the word? Like members would go. Well, we need to put our one on top, right? 
So I got that. The rest of the list is just what baffles me. Like, Lara Croft is still probably a top five <laughs> in everyone's list, you'd assume. But A, number one. B, what on earth is going on with the rest of it? <laughs> Mario, number two. I mean, what? Mario, number two. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 Ma, I, um, yeah, I mean, Mario, I absolutely understand that. Uh, Agent 47 me. does surprise me, though. No, no. That's a tough one. A lot, actually. Yeah. Put I a think picture that of Agent it should probably be like Sonic before people. that. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, like, like, show people a picture of Agent 47 and they will probably say, like, oh, it's like bald guy in a suit. Yeah, uh, like nobody. Yeah, nobody. Like, I, I would probably not get it like i wouldn't like who's this sec boy at number five and you know how they celebrated that the week after by uh, closing all the servers <laughs> great win there for sumo and sony <laughs> yeah yeah um, how is how is link number seven yeah how is link so I don't know. We're, far we're, below we're, we're really oh, okay okay now we're now we're getting somewhere so you, some of you were like surprised by Mario being number two, do you think he's too low? He's too high, or high up? <laughs> too high, get him I was, down. <laughs> I was sarcastically saying he was way too high, but <laughs> no, but but I I mean, I for me, at, at uh, number one, probably. Mario Mario is Mario. Nintendo and like yeah. one of the world's most recognizable characters. Probably. Of probably. course, I that think, character think he, should be ranked he high. Be number one, I, would prob- yeah. I think so. I think so. And Sonic uh, should be two, in my opinion. Probably, yeah. probably, and yeah. and Link should be a lot Link higher. Link should be than three, that, perhaps, and maybe Master Chief. Pikachu is twelve. Yeah, Pikachu as well. Pikachu yeah, is twelve. <laughs> My gosh, <laughs> that's Shadow like Hulk, no lime. also Hulk. like as recognizable as Mario. How is wow? And everyone and, and knows then, you, Arthur then, Morgan. The thing is. is, the thing, yeah, the thing <laughs> is, you have uh, Kratos from God of War, which is a fairly it's okay. It's 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 been around for uh, 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 some time. But Shadow Heart from Baldur's Gate Three. This is a game oh, from we last it. year. A game from last year at number ten. Uh, Arthur Morgan from Red Dead Redemption Two. Why at number eleven? Why? He's iconic, Casey. That's why. <laughs> Steve from Minecraft. I get because like many people still play Minecraft, and lots of kids know. Minecraft, yeah. uh, Solid Snake, yeah, Crash Bandicoot, probably Cloud from wow. Final Fantasy Seven. Another 16, character from Baldur's Gate Three. That's too low for Cloud, in my opinion. Another Just... character from Baldur's Gate Three. I, I don't, don't even know really you pronounce the word. Asterian. Asterian, I think. Yeah, there you go. Um, Kiryu That's at number eighteen. One, I'm yeah. shocked. Kiryu's that high, honestly. <laughs> I would have thought that would have been like a eh, I'll stick him somewhere towards the bottom of the list, not like top twenty. But it's ever. like a, l- a lot of like it, more modern uh, stuff, right? Which is yeah, stuff that's in the which, recent memory, I'm guessing. Yeah, which is like what what what's been happening with like the best games of all time lists these yep. days, <laughs> <laughs> which is not surprising because like apparently these. Um, th- the people who voted for this were 4,000 players from all over the world, whatever that means. Uh, but I'm guessing what, what ages, uh, what's, what's the age range range here? Uh, what's the, the, like the experiences that these people had with, with video games? How long have they been playing games? Uh, Cause like classic characters we have, maybe we can call Lara Croft classic Mario, uh, Sonic, Pac-Man, Link, and then we start to get into like not really that classic territory. Uh, even Kiryu is a yeah, very recent character like, if you think about it. Uh, that one baffles me for the wrong reasons. <laughs> <laughs> for the wrong reasons. How is he so high? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is he, Why is he that iconic? In this list? Is he recognizable? He's. He's more is recognizable he... than Nathan Drake, Nathan Drake the yeah? face of Subway for like a year, right? <laughs> <laughs> or in America or something, N- I seem to recall. N- Nathan Drake Subway. had a movie. Yeah. And Uncharted had a movie. <laughs> uh, Kiryu as well, but it was only in Japan. But... <laughs> <laughs> Lower down than Asterian, though. <laughs> oh, of course. Like oh. three Baldur's Gate characters, might I remind you. Yeah. <laughs> 
And the, it reads, much like his fellow party member Shadowheart, Asterion's roguish charms have made him a fan favorite since his appearance in 2023's Baldur's Gate 3. So he's iconic since like last year, since less than a year ago. He's iconic. That's a joke. My God. Okay, so. <clears throat> inspired by this, I thought, let's create our own <laughs> most iconic <laughs> Sega characters, Sega video game characters of all time, right? Um, and you guys uh, received the idea well, I think. So we came up with, with a, a list of 10 iconic Sega characters, 11 in a certain case because of reasons, but we left out Sonic and Kiryu. So Sonic and Kiryu are um, automatically in the, the final list. Uh, we want to discuss, we want to reach an agreement for 10 most iconic Sega characters of all time, okay? Uh, we each came up with a list of our own 10 iconic Sega characters, but at the end, we want to reach a final list of 10. Hmm. And if we have time, we will vote on them and choose the, the number yeah, one, <laughs> okay? If we have time. So let's start with, I, I have the list. Uh, we all have the list here. So let's start with... Um, the, the characters that are common to at least two of us. So, for example, at least two of us voted for Ryu Hazuki. Yeah. <laughs> so, myself and and Viper, obviously. No, yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't know. <laughs> <one, yeah. laughs> it was Jim. So, Jim, uh, why oh, is Ryu Hazuki an iconic side character that should be in our final top 10? Well, I'm going to keep it short just because. <laughs> Thank you very much. So moving on to another character. <laughs> I, I agree. Uh, I agree. Why yeah, not? I mean, why not? He's, he's the face of open world genre for Shamu Fan. He created that. Um, people like me are so inspired that they want to travel to a faraway country, to a random road in the middle of Japan that no one else gives. <laughs> I was going to swear then, sorry. Uh, cares about. Um, it's just... Um, I don't know, just someone who's changed my life, um, a video game character, of course, the whole video game, the series as a whole, but this specific character is like someone that I've chosen to sort of follow his footsteps and not become a martial artist. You know, I'm not, like not quite that, literally but... follow his footsteps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, quite, li quite literally, <laughs> that's what I meant. And I just... He means so much to me personally that he's, he is iconic. I, he might not be to people that haven't played Shamu, but the people that have played Shamu and fallen in love with the series uh, instantly got to be in a top 10 list of Sega characters if you're a Shamu fan. Okay. Fair enough. I, I agree. I have nothing more to add to this. Just like I, I couldn't imagine Sega without Ryo Hazuki. Like uh, thinking about when I think of Sega, I immediately think of Shenmue. Exactly. alongside Sonic as well and other characters but I I yeah it's just just Ryo Hazuki I think is like has to be there okay uh moving on to other uh common characters in our list so I, I'll have to try to keep track of the ones we already talked about so there we go mm -hmm. uh we also have tails which made it into Jim's limes and Viper's lists. Hmm. So, who wants to talk about Tails and why Tails is iconic? Go on, Viper. Did you want to just mention the the tiny rule that you could only pick another character? Yeah. So, so uh, yeah, the rule was we couldn't uh, pick Sonic and Kiryu, which are already in the, the at least the final discussion to see who joins the the final top 10 list and we had to keep it to maximum of two characters per franchise if we wanted to nominate more than one character per franchise i, I didn't actually repeat anyone any franchise but some of you did like all three of you did with tails yeah you all added tails as iconic so why I think one one part of being iconic is uh, recognizability. 
and you could you could see a silhouette of tails and know that it's uh, know that it's tails and tails is one of the absolute cutest characters that i know so definitely tails should be on the list okay. you're laughing but I, I that's what i think i'm laughing because i'm gonna undercut you with this if you tell someone that they can't pick sonic the next biggest character they're gonna pick in the biggest franchise is tails so that's yeah, exclusively yeah. what i have voted for him yeah, 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 I can't give it any poetic reason. Just if you say not this, then this becomes the next de facto answer. That is, that is very true. That's all I have to. That's all I really have to say. That was my only thought when I was thinking for some final ones on my list. Is like, you know, he said not Sonic, so uh, Tails, sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, when you think of Tails, when you think of Sonic, rather, you also think of Tails because it's yeah that sidekick mentality. The Kind of a duo even though there is more characters in the sonic franchise at the end of the day it's always sonic and tails is tails yeah. more iconic than knuckles for example or shadow i would say yeah. so yeah i think so too but yeah i'm just trying to figure out your your thoughts on this okay because for example um lime voted for shadow as well yeah indeed uh why He's just like, why honest. not? <laughs> like, I like to to quote Sonic Boom. Shadow is only the second most popular character in the franchise. That's what um, Eggman says in Sonic Boom, uh, and I definitely think so. I think Shadow tops Knuckles there when it comes to uh, popularity <laughs> and uh, character, actually. So. And it's the year of Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah, so Lime was fearless and bias. <laughs> voted for uh, Yeah, recency bias as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, that's that's another one. But this one was only voted by by uh, Lime. Yeah. Uh, common characters. So we have knights as well. Knights. Mm. Uh, again, only... Oh, no. Actually, three of us. I was Oops. really surprised... Yeah. To see Viper not voting for 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 knights, actually, I gotta be honest, right? Knights you're being has you're only being had, like, like two games. If you ask someone to name a Sega character and they were a fan, it would top that list. But if you're asking a general audience, it's not even remotely on the Sega games list, in my opinion. I'll fight to the death for knights, more knights content, but I just, <laughs> I don't. In the same way, Rio just falls out of my top ten by that logic. I think knights also kind of falls out of the top 10 by that logic mm. unfortunately i yeah. i love both right but one i love more than the other <laughs> your logic is sound if you're asking like a random off the street but then again i think they would probably end up listing 10 sonic characters over yeah that is very true but yeah would they two though two character would role. They do? <laughs> Well, they, might, they would like. Go they would probably go sonic tails knuckles eggman shadow and i think that's it and the Thank other you. furry Amy. creature oh, the other that, that is in the... Stop the, playing the, it after that Amy. point. <laughs> Maybe Amy. She might get a shout. Maybe. Um, I don't know. Like, or I, also... I, I, yeah, sorry. Go on, okay, so you carry first. No, no, no. I, I was going to say that like, whenever I hear some like podcasts by gen generic gamers that are not really Sega fans, um, whenever they mention Sega... And specifically the Saturn, they mention mm. uh, usually Panzer Dragoon and Knights. So it's not unrecognizable, even if they haven't played the games. Uh, I actually heard a, a, a podcast episode the other day, and they were talking about like Saturn. The Saturn was mentioned briefly, and a couple of the people were saying, oh, I haven't played any Saturn games. I never owned a Saturn. So maybe if I had to, like, if Gun to My Head had to name two games, I would say Panzer Dragoon and Knights into Dreams. He never played any of the games, but he knows about Knights. So I think if if even... A, a, so we're, we're talking gamers here, right? Even a non-Sega yeah. fan who sees Knights knows that's Knights, I think. Yep. That's exactly That's why, why I picked Nine yeah. Nights as well. I haven't even played the games, and I'm still like always like, "Oh, that's Nights! Nice. I know, I know who that is." 
I know, stop. It's like an hour lime. Come on. Like I know who that is. So it's like, okay, if even I can go like that, like I know exactly what character that is and from what game, even if I haven't played it, that's iconic. Yeah. 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 I, I that was kind of gonna be my point, Casey, that I think Knights is arguably the face of the Saturn. Yeah, I think, I think that's it's fair. the game that has to be in everyone's Saturn collection. If you own a Saturn, you probably own a copy of Knights. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I should I should be the one arguing this all with you. I'm such a <laughs> fake fan, right? But I just couldn't see it happening because even if you bring up the Saturn, yeah, Knights effectively becomes that console's mascot. I just can't see the Saturn entering that conversation to begin with, almost unless, yeah. like I say, you've got on a pretty knowledgeable game are you not just got on someone who's yeah i mean uh matt mentioned it in the chat a second ago would anyone know sega outside of sonic yeah but if you asked like in i mean certainly in the uk it's immediately to the mega drive titles like yeah oh yeah sonic and then axel or whatever it's a rage or something. yeah maybe it's just a rage and that's yeah. like the go-to here mm -hmm. and i'm sure it's different in other places like oh it's a bit more dreamcast orientated and like mm -hmm. other countries or whatever but when i think of like general sega knowledge the saturn never comes up and it's probably my favorite one so <laughs> it's it's hard to, on my part we, we we can try to be as impartial as we can like in terms of yeah considering of a broader audience like like gamers in general and what they would consider iconic in the world of sega but to be completely fair and as this list actually shows there's not much of Sega that like gen general gamer, generic gamers, non-Sega fan gamers uh, would consider iconic, perhaps. Would even think about immediately when they think about iconic games or iconic characters. So it's more, we, we can try to be, uh, we have, we have changes happening live no, there's no okay. changes what do you uh, mean <laughs> it reminded me of something that i forgot to write down earlier. and uh <laughs> and um i think we, we we have to try to think about more like the sega side of things or the true side yeah. of things like like scotty was saying non-sega fans so fake gamers yeah yeah, yeah we just exactly. don't, don't have scotty. to listen it's fine yeah <laughs> So, uh, Knights, it was voted by three of us. That's the, the gist of it. Uh, we also had Echo the Dolphin. Two of us voted for Echo the Dolphin. Uh, I was one of them. The other one was uh, Lime. Yes. Uh, why Lime? Same argument with Knights. <laughs> exactly the same argument, actually. I... I yeah, yeah, kind of. But I, I, would, I would go more into the... What what Viper said earlier? Uh, if, if you ask people in the UK and probably Europe in general uh, about Sega, they would probably think about the Mega Drive. And one of the the iconic games or characters in the, the Mega Drive era, I think, was Echo the Dolphin. Like even if people didn't play the game, they remember seeing like that the picture of a dolphin jumping out of the yeah. of the water. Yeah, exactly. I think yes. so. Yes. That's, that's the idea. I, that's know. what I think. It's not just like best character, like what games I like the most, the, the character that I prefer, but what character I remember. And if I saw that, I would immediately associate with the game or the company or the console. So I think Echo in some way, at least for me, when I think of the Mega Drive, that's like also a, a really personal opinion as well. I think of Echo the Dolphin. Yeah, yeah, that got two votes. Uh, another one with now three votes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, live on air is Alex Kidd. Uh, so I think we should probably ask the person who voted for this first, Viper. Uh, why first? did you? <laughs> you mean last? You, you just Definitely you just added, not last minute. You just like uh, added Alex Kidd here <laughs> at the end of the. Of your uh, list, why? What was it before? Uh, Gilius. It was Gilius, but that was my backup Gilius. answer because I couldn't think of any other franchise characters. Um, see, this is another one of those games where um, I was thinking about this yesterday, and the n not the name, but the franchise just wasn't quite coming to my tongue. So that's why I suddenly added this one in. 
um, by far one of the uh, biggest names that comes up. Uh, once again, I can only speak from my UK experience, but I don't know if it's the same in. I certainly know it's pretty similar in South America by the looks of things. When you mention um, the MOS system, which was, of course, a huge success here, oh, immediately, I should give him his proper name, as everyone calls him on the street. It's Alex the Kid. <laughs> it's always what people say <laughs> yeah. every single time. Mm-hmm. It's just, it was a pack-in for so long. It was a pack into a popular and very cheap console that therefore a lot of people got into uh, as home computers were trailing off on the 8-bit side of things. Um, obviously, 16-bit home computers continued for a while, but didn't quite see the same level of like huge ubiquity. And, you know, there was beginning the beginning of mass adoption of consoles was coming in, right? So Alex Kidd perfectly symbolizes that time. And yeah, still, I mean, kind of an anecdote I remember is I had uh, the... Sega shop used to have like an Alex Kid phone case. I had that on my phone for a number of years, and you'd always, whenever you went to any sort of gaming event and anything similar, oh, it's Alex the Kid immediately. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, oh, yeah, no one can remember his name, but he's still iconic because of that, even if it's not much of a franchise nowadays. I'd be honest, the games aren't sometimes worth being remembered all that much, at least in an official capacity, but. Um, clearly iconic enough to get a remake recently um, and still be a regular mainstay of various European introduction to gaming stories, right? Yeah, That's at least how I see it. And there's some knowledge because of the Sega All-Stars games and the like uh, in there as well. So I think that True. helps quite a bit. Yeah, I think so. I, I It's rare that I get a person over 25, maybe, on the show that doesn't mention Alex the Kid or Alex Kid <laughs> uh, once during the challenge or when talking about earlier experiences with Sega, even if even if they just want to rage <laughs> because the games were so hard, they they know about <laughs> Alex Kid. Um, Scotty Mo has a good point. We can blame Billy the Kid for part of that, probably. Maybe people associate. Uh, Alex Kid with the like the the gunslinger <laughs> from the old west, maybe, maybe, or is it the big ears? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just to wanted just wanted to mention his big ears. So three of us voted for Alex Kid. Four of us voted. I just realized for I I. The four yeah. of us. Really, all of us. Okay. Aye, 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 aye. Us. Aye, aye. Um, Does that make an instant top ten then? I yeah, do think so, right? Uh, why did you vote for II, uh, James? Uh, I'm not too sure, really. It's just <laughs> it was just <laughs> why, why one not? of the characters that came came into my head. Uh, again, a lot of love recently. Um, we've kind of had like three Monkey Ball games on the bounce in recent years, and it seems to be quite That's successful. Five years. Last five years, yeah, was it? That's all right. Yeah, three in the last five years. Yeah, so, I mean, it's it's a character that's out there in the general public. Um, people seem to enjoy the games. Otherwise, they'd probably stop making them, I guess. I don't know. Um, <laughs> they probably but, but yeah, sell. Yeah, I like him as a character. I've got a little plushie of him. Um, doesn't scream Sega as such. Um compared to some of the other characters, like maybe people on the street would recognize that character. I would say, oh, that's Monkey Ball. I played that on GameCube, but not possibly associate it with Sega as such. Maybe it could feel like a Nintendo character to some people. Yeah, um, probably. But I, I think because it is a Sega character, he, he has got to be quite I- iconic yeah. in terms of what we're, we're trying to achieve here okay i'm starting to think i should lock the document <laughs> so people don't change it midway it keeps it's, people keep changing their picks but okay uh, from me. <laughs> the conversation is you can see my uh, fingers so i'm not yeah yeah hands up everyone i i i i chose ii for the exact same reason as you did james uh even though it's high up on my list i was just thinking of like characters that i i had to pick 10 
And yeah, I, I, I think is sort of iconic. Is It's recognizable. Um, it's been in like the All-Stars games as well. We've had a few monkey ball games as well. Uh, <laughs> we keep having changes. Get it changes. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know what, what else to say about this, about this character uh, should be. <laughs> and now Live Reverse has been added to the list <laughs> by Codex Sega characters. <laughs> Over Alex well, Kidd. As if. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I, I think I think this means I I automatically gets into the the final list, right? Yeah, yeah. there's Definitely no argument. Down. Uh, We're not going to debate it if we've all got it right. So yeah, I don't think yeah. so. So it's yeah. Um, okay, what else? What else? We have now that things have changed again a little bit. So we have a few characters that are uh, okay. Wait, we have Axel Stone from Streets of Rage. Uh, three of us voted for Axel. Oh, right. Mm. Three of us. So, uh, myself, James and Viper voted for, uh, Axel. Well, I'm not played it. <laughs> Hashtag cancel. No, he's, he's played it. He play, he. Oh, I'll wow. have you know yeah, that I've, I've you, you played voted for all Blaze. four you, streets You voted of for Rage Blaze. Game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You voted for I'll Blaze. I'll have you know. One in after we said Axel, right? Yeah. But, uh, I'm... <sighs> This, this maybe this is a good argument that to have might right now. be like a personal bias for yeah. me because when I personally think of Streets of Rage, uh, Blaze comes up, not actually. I'm kind of the same, honestly. <laughs> I really? prefer Blaze oh. as a character and to play as as well, but Axel is arguably the the face of the franchise. I yeah, think that might be the case. Yeah, yeah. which is why I picked. I can it. see that argument. It's just like like yeah. For me personally, that's what happens. So I went with Blaze rather than Axel. Yeah. But but yeah. I, I think of Axel first when I okay. think of Streets of Rage. And I clarified Streets of Rage so you didn't think it might be the crazy taxi, Axel. <laughs> Good point. Oh, yeah. Good point. Yeah. But it's not. It's not. <laughs> uh, okay. So I think, I don't know. I don't know. We, we need to start getting somewhere with this, not just mentioning the, the characters we voted for. Uh, I mean, so we are ones, creating the first top, the first top 10. The, like, the ones that doing, I, right? yeah, the ones that I, that I've mentioned right now were voted for more than one person. So yeah, maybe we can. So I think, I think I, I is, yep. is a given, right? It's yeah. Makes complete sense that we get I, I, I in that last um, top 10. I think maybe. as well, the people yes. that have voted for three, so like we've all voted for Tails apart from UKC, yep. unless you've got a very strong argument against Tails. Nope. I love Tails. Okay. I yep. would love to see Tails in the final top Seed. 10. <laughs> yeah. Come um, on, someone else vote for Shadow. Someone else write in Shadow. Do I change right now? No, we don't nope. change it. Do I middle of the change? I would, I would probably, I would probably add, add Knights as well, because three of yeah. us voted for Knights. I can't disagree, Shadow. so go if ahead. If you can't disagree, <laughs> there we go. Shadow. Knights is in there as well. Uh, I don't know what that means. Light I don't know what fast. Shadow means. I only know, <laughs> I don't know Fearless from now on. He's the Fearless life form. The Fearless Alex list is this. Well. Yeah. Good old generic yeah, white dude, says Scotty Mo. <laughs> <laughs> regarding uh, Axel. Axel. Yeah. Um, who else? Uh, Alex we have, Kidd, we've we got have, three of them. Oh, Alex Kidd. Yeah, that's true. Alex Kidd. How, how did you do the crossover thing? Like you cross a name? Uh, format and like cross. Okay, okay. Whatever. Because I have an AI uh, here now. Yeah. There we okay. go. It feels like a bingo card at this point, more than yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to ten. I'm trying to figure out where the other Alex kid is. Oh, there we go. He is here. Okay, so that's it. That's it. Um, there was someone else. Oh, we had uh, two votes for uh, Morgana. No, Viper yeah. and Lime. Morgana from yeah. Persona Five. And like everyone's like who? Yeah, from Persona Five, uh, the cat from Persona Five. 
Um, okay, I actually voted for Joker. Right. Yeah, I was in the same boat, and then Ooh. I uh, went, actually, no. Uh, reason being is uh, Morgana's the one used in all of the promotional material. Like, mm-hmm. for example, Monkey Ball, we were talking about earlier, they didn't opt for Joker, they opted for Morgana, and you look in Sega's office, right? Uh, oh, no, not in the office, sorry. You look at when they make, like, mascot costumes for Persona or mm-hmm. SNT. It was Jack Frost until Persona 5, and then it became Morgana, like, yeah. quite frequently, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Um, Sega Fez. Jack Frost should have been on here, but the same logic. Yeah, there was a Morgana costume there, wasn't there? It's yeah. uh, even... What we said we're putting some of, somewhat personal bias aside, I actually don't really like Morgana that much as a character, but it's hard to deny that they've shilled the ever living heck out of Morgana. It's um, a cat like merchandising and stuff, so instantly Cute. instantly. Yeah, lovable. exactly. That Yeah. Yeah, one hundred percent. Um and then you play the game and you're like <laughs> <laughs> But recognizable, yes. Um has managed to escape its kind of obscurity as a series with that game and that character is effectively the face of that mm. from the public yeah, perspective. Yeah. So that's a good point. By that logic that um in terms of if you had to have the obligatory Atlas pick or at least one, I think even outliving Atlas's own actual mascot is Morgana. So yeah. That was yeah. kind of my logic to the thing and then lime saw that and copied that so we got two bucks for that. <laughs> yeah, and I, I i absolutely uh, uh, uh agree i was gonna vote for a persona character but it slipped my mind somehow but yeah definitely uh morgana or what was there uh, what was his name like ted or something like that. Eddie, from yeah, the, same deal. Oh, Teddy, yeah. Yeah, for from Persona Persona 4. Four. Marketable plushie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it, 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 either either what in a, one either one of those two. So like when it comes to Persona Five, I definitely think like personally at least, like Morgana made the biggest impression. Um yeah. so I, I think that uh Morgana as a character is uh, a little bit more iconic uh as a result than the other characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, my argument for Joker is like mostly Smash, uh, right? Yeah, m- mostly, mostly Persona Five, which in itself is a, a good argument, I think. But that works for Morgana as well, uh, and then Smash. <laughs> many, many people know who Joker is because of, of Smash. Because of Smash, yeah, because that's Smash. a point. Yeah, mm. and uh, it's it. it Persona 5 Golden is now on Switch, isn't it? It's on everything. Is it? I think I bet, uh, Switch was like the last thing they released it on. People were like clamoring for Persona uh, 5 it came on out Switch. On ev- so the first port was PC, and then a couple years later they did everything else. PS4, really? PS5, okay. Xbox, Switch. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... People were but like, it's always Switch. <laughs> yeah, but but Switch people were like, oh, it's, it's, Joker's in Smash, so we, we're gonna get Persona Five released on Switch. They did Strikers first, uh, and and people were like, I mean, but we want Persona Five, not not uh, wasn't like a the first Q two on 3ds, which they made like three copies of. Wasn't that the first game Joker was in on Nintendo? Oh, maybe I, I haven't played it. Was he on Q two? Yes. Yeah, okay. pretty front and prominent so okay they listened and then eventually they pulled the game like two years ago (laughs) there you go always with the times (laughs) yeah uh so yeah so but but i i can get behind morgana if 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 you think so yeah i I have no really no argument there an obligatory persona character to the top 10 (laughs) yeah yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy with either either those options, Morgana mm-hmm. or Joker. So, uh, just as a, as a quick uh, side note, so we currently have six characters already. Really? So we have Sonic, Q, Q, I, I, Tails, right. Alex, Kid, and Knights. Yeah. Okay, if we That's if fun. we decide to keep these, right? Uh, mm. So we we should decide four more. Um, Axel got yeah. three votes as well. Yeah, so actually, speaking of the most be, voted yeah. ones, like we have to have one from yeah. Streets of Rage. And Streets of Rage is like come back with a vengeance. I meant it with Streets of Rage 4, I think. Mm. Okay. Yeah, and indeed. Yeah, Streets Quite of a Rage, popular not series five. again. Whatever so, the new one's Excel called. Stone. True. Okay. Um, should we add Morgana as well as like a, 
an Atlas slash Persona representative as well? Yeah, I think, so. I think that's yeah. fair. <laughs> I, think, okay. I think there yeah. should be one of those characters in there because Atlas is a massive part of Sega at the moment. That makes that's sense. Absolutely makes sense. huge. Oh, if we're by that logic, then Red should be number one, right, from Angry Birds. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I, I, think I didn't even soon. think of that. I think it's too soon. <laughs> Name of like a character that right. 100 million people know, and there you go, you got, you got it right there. <laughs> Although, to be yeah. fair, I didn't know his name was Red. Oh, uh, yeah, named the colors. Is it, isn't it like yeah, Red Bird? So. Red Angry Bird? I think it's just oh, Red, okay. I think. Oh, Red, stop. okay. For sure. Big Red. And Yellow? Um, no, there's a yellow one yeah, that explodes, I think. I, isn't he like Chuck or something? I in played the Angry Birds back in the day. Back in my bit. day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, think... back in my day. Okay. Um, so we now have two spots open. If we if we wish to keep these this list of Sonic, Kiryu, II, Tails, Alex Kid Knights, Alex Stone, uh, Excel Stone, sorry. Uh, Alex, Alex <laughs> the Kid. Alex the Stone, the stone. Uh, Morgana. <laughs> Morgana. Morgana. So that's eight. Uh, we we need to pick two more. Uh, looking at characters that were voted more than once, we have Ryo Hazuki. We have oh, uh, have Echo the Dolphin. Right. We have and Majima, and we have Majima. Majima. And Maybe I think that's really it in beat, terms of like repeats. Oh, and Beat. Beat as well. Beat right. also right. got two votes. Beat twice. Okay. Yeah. Beat okay, twice. so, so here, here, here's where we I might fight. Right. Mm, so it's I Rio. Think. Oh, wait. Rio. Uh, uh, Majima. Echo. And Beat, I think. Those are the repeats here. So just a quick mention, we had uh, Gilius Thunderhead was voted twice originally, but now someone changed their vote, Viper. Uh, I'm sorry. Maybe had... when that epic comedy show comes out, I'll have egg on my face, but until then. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, I would rank Streets of Rage above Golden Axe. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Always for sure. the yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Toe Jam and Earl was one of my votes as well. Although technically they're um, two characters. Like two characters. Yeah. yeah, that's why did, I put did like we a... by the way decide on Morgana? Yeah, yeah, Morgana is in. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So uh I no, don't do that. No, no? You, you deleted the ones that I needed to oh okay, there we go. No, they're, no, they're it's here. just on a page bill, bill, Okay, okay. Page Cause, lower. Cause all the ones no. I, I have already put somewhere else, so don't worry. Uh, I just oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I thought that, okay, <laughs> you might have missed it because it wasn't on the list. Okay. But it's cool. So, Toe Jam and Earl was, yeah. I think it's another case of like a little bit more like Alex Kidd and less like Echo, but of people thinking of the Mega Drive, people who grew up with the Mega Drive, yeah. they think, immediately think of Toe Jam and Earl. Which one is more iconic? Maybe Earl? Maybe Big Earl? I'd say Toe Jam. Toe Jam? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I, I always <laughs> say, think of I them like a, a collective. Uh, but uh, I don't know if uh, no one else thought of this. So, so yeah. Uh, we also I also voted, speaking of like out there uh, picks, the Daytona Hornet. Oh, yeah. Right. What, I mean, that was the, more iconic than the Daytona Hornet, the D Daytona USA Hornet. I, I can't really think of one. Everyone has played Daytona USA at least once, at least in the, the arcades. But has at least seen it in the in an arcade somewhere. Here's one for you, Casey. On that logic, the Outrun car that I, uh, I picked up from Japan. <laughs> <laughs> However, I thought of Outrun. However, I have an argument that makes uh, that means that the Hornet is truly a character. He is playable. Uh, as an oh, unlockable, yeah, it, yeah, is it is. fighting Vipers too? No, fighting Mega Mix. Uh, oh, fighting fighters Mega Mix. That's it. Fighter, fighters Mega Mix. I'm a big fighting uh, genre fan. Uh, but the Hornet is. You can actually play as the Hornet, like the car with the wheels, as True. hands and you can write, feet. You can throw hands. Yeah. Also, the AM2 Palm Tree is also a character, but that's besides the point. I think the Hornet is immediately recognizable. Is it one of the most iconic Sega characters ever? I don't know. It's 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 for, up for your consideration. I think the uh, game 
if we were talking about games, I probably would say the Daytona, especially with the theme tune as well, especially being on Radio Sega. Daytona. It's like one of the most requested songs, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, a good game to, time, to end the show on. Let's go away. Sure. Stupid joke. Uh, sure, he says. Uh, thank you. Uh, on <laughs> on <laughs> Jim's... <laughs> uh, go on. Sorry. Go on, oh, no, sorry. Wrong, wrong, oh. wrong guest. There you go. Yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Uh, also on Jim's list, Shenhua from Shenmue. Yeah, I mean, mm. I have to pick, when you add that rule for picking a secondary character, I had to pick one from Shenmue. And I went with Shenhua. Like, maybe Landy could have been one, but um, I went with Shenhua in the end because she's special to me in the fact that you see her on the box art of Shenmue 1, and I've mentioned this before, but you don't see her again until like the end of Shemu 2, which is just madness, really. Apart from a couple of dream sequences, but which makes it harder moment, for people to recognize. Well, no. that's true, but the impact that she has once the, she's introduced to the game, and that two-hour walking segment through the beautiful forest of Guilin, learning all about her—it's literally a, a two-hour conversation with this one character. And then Shemu 3, she's basically at that point a main character. So you've got Ryo Hazuki and Shenfua. I like Tojo Manil, but Ryo and Shenfua. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she's got a massive part to play in the future of the series as well. Mm -hmm. So I think Shemu wise, there's no bigger second character to a Shemu fan than Shenfua. That's why I picked her as a Shemu okay. fan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you also picked uh, someone who I had on my list originally, but then I changed it. And mm. I, I can't remember who I replaced uh, this with, but um, or who I replaced Akira, yeah, with, yeah. yeah. So Akira Yuki from Virtual Fighter was one of your See, picks. I think I, I yeah, I'm replaced him. You, you with had him. Knights, I think. I was going to say I'm surprised more people didn't have this character because you know Virtual Fighter is an iconic game for Sega. It's like the first 3D fighting game. So Akira is like the first 3D polygonal, <laughs> say the word, um, character. Um, you know, he's arguably more recognizable than Ryo because he is Ryo, but he's, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, Petra Fighter. Yeah, I, 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 I was just surprised that no one else picked Akira, to be honest. I'll explain why I removed him from my list. Uh, because I think most people would look at him and say, oh, it's that Street Fighter character. Mm. <laughs> so like a, a generic audience would probably uh, think uh, it, it's Ryu, right? So so from, from, from Street Fighter instead of Akira. Uh, I think right now, like in... To a broader audience, maybe Ryo Hazuki is more recognizable than uh, Akira. Yeah, I'd say I, so. I, yeah, I don't know. In 2024, 20, 20, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I, th I think it ties in with our it's... conversation about Virtual Fighter being maybe not a top tier franchise. I mean, that's Sega... sacrilege in itself. It, but isn't... Sega isn't doing much with, the, with the, the, the franchise, so people can't. Consider it to be a top tier uh, series because they have no games to play, no new games to play. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think it's, the thing it's a shame because like, Virtual Fighter be. and its characters. Oh, yeah. I I think the issue with it is is there's how would you word it? There's been almost like this erasal of it from history. Um, like over these past few years, both in terms of Sega not doing anything with the franchise, but also people like accrediting a lot of the things it did to Tekken and, and other adversaries. And the point where if you go to someone about the history of fighting games within that community, how many of them will gloss straight over Virtual Fighter and go, oh, from Street Fighter 2 to Tekken or whatever? I think yeah. that's a really common thing. And Sega haven't helped that by not really doing anything for the series heritage at all minus these last two years 
I mean, Virtua Fighter 6 supposedly being on the horizon might change that, but I I don't know. Currently, as of right now, that's where it stands. They've allowed this to happen, effectively. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think it's it's hard to 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 remember that we we are trying to look at this. I, at least I was trying to look at this as like a bit of a Sega fan, but at, at the same time, who would be more recognizable to a, like a more a gen- generic audience than that is not as familiar with Sega's history as we are? Uh, I would argue, however, that Virtua Fighter in itself as a series and Akira and maybe Sarah as well and and uh, everyone's favorite drunk, uh, (laughs) Shundi, Shundi, yeah. Uh, (laughs) They're all instant classics and, and like iconic characters. But considering that I'm trying to think of this approach, this is like a more like impartial a uh, person like going in and like a, an impartial party and looking at the, the wider range of characters, I don't think people would recognize. And they would probably mistake Akira with uh, like Ryu from, from Street Fighter, yeah. perhaps. I, I do get what you're saying. I mean, game-wise, again, it's the argument that if someone picks up a Sega Saturn, it's probably going to come with Knights and Virtua Fighter. Virtua Fighter, yeah, yeah, but- yeah. yeah. In terms of the character recognition, like you say, Akira possibly isn't as recognizable as Knights, bizarrely, even though, <laughs> you know, there's that argument. But That's true. That's true. If you think about the Sega Saturn, you probably think about Virtua Fighter, Penta Dragoon, and, and Knights. Yeah. I would think, I would say those are the three, like, most recognized. Maybe some people would think of Virtua Cop as well, Virtua Cop 2, etc. But I don't know. But these three, Sega Rally as well, Sega Rally, yeah. probably. Sega Rally for sure, yeah. Yeah. Okay, there are more. But, <laughs> but okay, many, many more. <laughs> I but have but Virtua Fighter <laughs> is indeed, is indeed a, 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 a game that people associate with, with the Saturn. Uh, although Sega insists on releasing the Mega Drive version. <laughs> True. On re-releasing the, the the Mega Drive version for some reason, um, I don't. I just don't think in terms of iconic characters, Akira is is up there though. Top but, twenty, yeah, shame. but top ten so tight. Probably, probably, yeah. Uh, okay, then you had Ulala. I mean, it's easier. Let's <laughs> just extend it to yeah, top yeah. twenty. So I, I was just like, everyone. I was just. <laughs> <laughs> I was just running through the ones that we picked that no one else did. So uh, you had Ulala as well. Uh, James. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I um, kind of agree. But... A little bit of bias on that one, just because I love Space Channel Five. But I came up with a good argument. Actually, she okay. rescues Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael Jackson's probably the most famous guy in the world, and Ulala rescues <laughs> the most famous guy in the world, and that doesn't make her iconic. <laughs> I don't know what more to say. As well, she's it's a bit of a stretch. Whatever year it is. <laughs> <laughs> he 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 uh he rescues him twice or is it just in the Possibly. first game? Does, I'm trying to think. I no, think in it's the just second the first one, game, she definitely right? recognizes him. I space think he's Michael. like a bootleg in yeah. the first game, and he's actually Space Michael in the second one, right? No, so no, no. He's not? Space Michael in both. Yeah, he's he's Space Michael yeah. in both. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. and she More rescues you know. him in the first one for sure. The second one, I'm not yeah. sure if he rescues him or second, he's just a character. One, I know for sure she does. Oh, okay. So. It's it's that music. Help me, Ulala. Yeah. Thank you, Ulala. <laughs> uh, his Christian birth certificate <laughs> says Space Michael, says Scotty Mo in chat. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, and that's about it for, for the ones that no one else voted for. Lime voted for Blaze. We already talked about this, I think. Right, Lime? Yes, we did. Uh, no, really. I, I would agree in a, in a more personal note, but I think Axel is more recognizable. Shadow the Hedgehog was yeah. another one. Uh, any yeah. arguments for Shadow? I mean, is, is this anyone talking? Because I, I would probably say like Shadow is probably more iconic than some of the ones that we've ended up yeah. going for, but we're trying to be fair, right? Yeah. We don't want to yeah, get indeed. more than two w- characters yeah. from the same franchise. On the list. Yeah, 
yeah like do we have yeah tails. we already have sonic and then we have tails so like it's it's already cut off. so it's it's really a question about i mean if if you whether think, tails or if shadow you think is it's more really iconic. necessary to have shadow we can replace someone else with with shadow i think shadow has to be on there for the same reason as lion pretty much yeah yeah but then I would mean, you not i think you have to have the two sonics okay yeah more than knuckles yeah i definitely yeah, think that definitely. shadow is a lot more a lot more but more popular than shadow is and shadow is really? very uh, popular like there are so many people who have shadow as a favorite character um the other one would be tails at least when i talk to people about their favorite characters it would be okay like tails or shadow what i hear the most so mm -hmm. i'll i'll add shadow to the 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 list here to to see in the end if we when we have the 10 names, or the eight names, I think, we'll look at Shadow again. Uh, you had Bayonetta, Bayonetta, and no one else voted for Bayonetta. Oh, I uh, almost almost did go for Bayonetta, to be honest. In fact, I think I did have Bayonetta in an original list, and then when I was building it, I saw Lime had Bayonetta, actually, so I thought, oh, I'll put someone quite unique in, and then we'll talk about Bayonetta. But I do actually think that Bayonetta probably should be in the top 10 list because she's Bayonetta has like one of the iconic, strongest right? personalities, like a lot stronger personality than yes, the she's personality. Else on the list. Yes, she's that's why she's the personality. Just like, just like Lara Croft has a great personality. <laughs> that's why they're iconic. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Look, That's why I, people look, recognize look, them. <laughs> I don't have that focus. No, no, no. For obvious reasons. <laughs> so, but, <laughs> but that's why people recognize. Uh, I think Bayonetta is mm -hmm. an instantly recognizable Nintendo character, though. Sadly, <laughs> sadly, just like he's a Scotty very says good. What I'm thinking, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. If there is an argument, it is that Bayo is more recognizable as a secret than a Nintendo character, right? Yeah, I think people uh, recognize I, Bayonetta yeah, as a Nintendo, Nintendo franchise right now. That's interesting. Three of the four games have been made under Nintendo and are system sellers for Nintendo. I think people would more associate her with Nintendo personally, yeah. which is a shame. Well, is it's, she not technically a no. Sega IP? Yeah. <laughs> So does that not make her iconic? They're the character, broke, but broke the gaming thing like that. Like mm. the Stellar Blade that's releasing tomorrow. Like people compare a massive release like that to Bayonetta. Hey. Okay. I don't know. I'm I'm up for anything. I I'm happy that a couple of my <laughs> characters are on the list. So if you if you want to trade anyone or exchange something, I, I okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, Lime also voted for Nancy. Nancy, <laughs> Nancy the Lobster. Yes, for people not familiar with Nancy <laughs> from uh, li from from well. Yakuza, like a dragon. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> However, if we already have Kiryu and Majima, if we get mm. Majima in the li in the list on the list, we don't don't get to actually. Have Nancy. In my opinion, Majima absolutely has to be on that list. Okay. <laughs> yes. It's getting so, tricky now. It's getting no, tricky now. I'm going to throw Majima. Nancy in the river for Majima. Okay. Yes. okay. Yeah. She's she's got a a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend, I, I don't know. Now, uh in the the second the the latest, latest game. Really? Spoilers. Um So that's it for Lime's list. Viper had a uh, actually Arl and Carbuncle and as as characters <laughs> Which I think is is are good picks. So both Puyo characters. Would you like to explain, yeah. Lime? I'd I'd be willing Viper. to fight pretty hard on this because obviously as um as Western fans we've kind of been shielded from how huge these games were in Japan. Like household names, some of the biggest of the early nineties in terms of Mado Monogatari and um eventually Puyo Puyo. They were like so big that uh, Puyo Confectionery and merchandise was often like among the best selling in its categories, right? People know these characters and they push games and they push products and everything. Um, in recent years, obviously, we're casting onto this in the West with Puyo Tetris and the like and going, oh, yeah, these are really cool characters. 
And I think if you then have to look at the face of that franchise, which maybe we don't associate as big, but in certain parts of the world is a huge deal, it comes down to those two, definitely. I think they're so big in Japan that has to kind of become a consideration in a way. Uh, even if the rest of the world wouldn't necessarily name that, I think if we're talking about this hypothetical list, it would get enough to just barely crack a top 10, maybe? I don't know, it's tough to say for sure, because I I think a lot of personal bias then comes back into it, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I would agree at some point. I think, I think... Yeah, it's hard. I I do agree. I think I I would even go as far as saying uh, a, a Sakura Wars uh, character should be here as well. But it's yeah. it's if we consider the Japanese side of of the fandom mostly, because um, in the West, I think Carbuncle is is recognizable ish. Maybe not as much but as yeah, but the same sort of Teddy logic. Is that one of the th- uh, one of the things or yeah. one of the big characters like the girls no it's it like the the, the mascot the like the yellow guy okay. the what's i name? have no idea who these characters are <laughs> absolutely <laughs> no I, idea. I've read them, I, I like oh, the zero Rambo. comes to I'm, me I'm, yeah so arla is like the main character in most puyo games at one point it was ringo in the like the puyo pop oh, puyo game okay yeah yeah, yeah. Hmm. and and uh carbuncle is like her little pet mascot thingy like the round okay. yellowish thing yeah pat i think it's the most accurate yeah. but this is the thing because we've got two people here who don't know it then it kind of makes it difficult to get it onto the panel even if some person in the right hand corner of the screen strongly thinks it should be right <laughs> i'm aware i'm fighting a losing battle but yeah yeah to me that's i would say just, Arl probably you know thinking would about it in a broader spot, sense than i would yeah yeah yeah, maybe. Okay, you also voted for Majima. We already in, you had Eggman. Eggman, yeah, mm. it's a good shot. Eggman good is shot. Shot. iconic. Yeah, I would say even more than Tails or Shadow, perhaps. <laughs> maybe <laughs> in a I was way. Just thinking that honestly, yeah, Ar- arguably, game. actually, arguably, yeah. that could be a discussion. I'm indeed. arguing for it. <laughs> uh, I'm arguing in favor of that, but I I don't think we should get more than two characters from the same franchise. Yeah. To be honest, and yeah, I, I would I even think... go as far as saying Tails shouldn't be on the list. We should even I should I think we should just keep it to one per franchise. But that's just my opinion to make things more even. But that being said, if yeah. we really want to go for the iconic characters, just go wild. <laughs> Mm. Then it is, it's going to be old. You can, you're going to have okay. Sonic, Tails, Eggman, Shadow, yeah. Knuckles. So it turns Before, into like a top night. 10 Sonic uh, iconic character. So let's let's try mm. to streamline this a I, little bit. I, I could actually it's... see Tails of uh, that Eggman. I mean, over Tails on the list. Okay, so right I now, know. right now, our imagine. list is Sonic, Kiryu, I, I, Tails, Knights, Alex, Kid, Axel, and Morgana. We have two more spots if we want to keep it this way. We have four characters that were voted uh, twice. Ryo, Hazuki, Majima, Echo, and Beat. I would say, going against one of my votes, Echo probably doesn't belong on this list. On the current, Mm -hmm. uh, seeing the current state, looking at the the current state of the list. Yeah. I agree with that. Let me give a a quick shout out to Scotty Mo, who's got to go. Thank you for joining us for a little bit, Scotty. Bye, Scotty. Take care. Um... So I, I would, I would that, probably, I would, I would. What, Viper, what, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was waving. I was oh, waving okay. Time <laughs> delight, which is why I, I, I would people. personally remove I, I Echo saw from this. Like in the in the corner of the like like this kind I'd, of like. I'd I'd agree with removing okay. Echo, and t- yeah. to be honest, <laughs> maybe this is just my bias, but I would put Rio above Majima. I will. I will. Oh, there are fighting I words. Rio. There are I some too, fighting words right there. I would too. I think. I, I just especially, think, especially, especially considering. I, I have. A, I think a, a good argument for this as a fan of the the series. Uh, Majima has been taking less of a, a prominent place in the franchise in the series in recent games, right? So, of course, you had Majima true. everywhere. <laughs> In a, in a, in other games, but recently, um, it's a big event when Majima shows up, 
like in the latest games, like the 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 the, the Casca games. But it's often not alone, and it's yeah. often just a, a an isolated event for a moment, and it's not as big of a deal. They don't make as big of a deal out of it as before. I I remember back in the day, like a few years ago. There was a, a a vote back in the day, a few years ago. Uh, there was a vote in in Japan for like the most like uh, liked or iconic characters in the Yakuza series, and Majima won that one, even uh, surpassing uh, Kiryu, I think, in Japan. I do remember that a few years ago. Uh, is it the same now? Is it? it should Kasuga be on the list? Because he's now like the the poster boy of the series. I don't think he's had enough time. Whereas even if you could say Majima's star is fading, it's still fading from an extremely high up star, right? Whereas, yeah, let's not yeah, forget the recency not. bias the inverse, here as right? as well. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I would put Majima above Ichiban. Yeah, personally, personally, I would too. I and, would put and, Ma Ma Majima yeah. above Kiryu. Ooh, I, I would. So oh, I can't. Now I don't know. I cannot. Oh, yes. I have two points here. One, Majima uh, is arguably more recognizable with eye patch, and has a lot stronger uh, personality, like with the, all the craziness and stuff. That's a lot more memorable than uh, what Kiryu does. Probably. I I would I would I would agree you with you a few <laughs> a few years ago but i think lately uh i i would consider q to I'm be trying, more iconic I think. personally i'm but trying yeah. to think if you went up to someone on the street and you said name a character from yakuza like a dragon i think people are going to say kiryu yeah apparently it's 18th on the top 20 list there you go from that, that as well yeah. after <laughs> vote <laughs> <laughs> poll so uh so we have really have to wrap this up, guys. So we really need to make the, the hard decisions now. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> we really need to. Um, so should who do we add to this list of 10? So Sonic and Kiryu are, are there because of yeah. BAFTA. Uh, yep. We had Ai from Monkey Ball, Tails, yep. a repeat character from the same franchise as Sonic, Knights, Alex Kidd, Axel and Morgana. Yeah. And then we have to decide between, apparently, Ryo, Majima, not Echo, I think. We've decided against Echo, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah Beat okay. and Shadow. How many more? Two or left. Eggman. We need two more. We can replace some of the ones that, that are on the list, or we can just, just go with the and ones we already have. I having. hear Viper's argument for Beat. No, nope, uh, because I, I was going to leave that to, 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 to now. <laughs> Why There's beat, none. Viper? Why did not? I vote? Wait, did I vote B or did I not? I don't remember. Okay, I, think, I voted beat. I mean, he's the most iconic of that game, and that game has its own cult following, in a sense, but it is just that. It's a cult following. Even, I'd argue, Shenmue's a cult following, but it's a bigger cult following. Uh, I yeah, full calling. Yes, I, I'd argue it's a bigger <laughs> one, but it's one that does uh, break the mainstream a bit more than Jet Set Radio tends to. Um, in that sense, I once again like straight shoe in for top twenty, but top tens just rough. You've just got to make these tough calls, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, a beat is iconic, but it's in the list of how iconic you've got to go okay well how big do i perceive these fandoms to be etc mm. um how iconic are they to your general person and there's like a lot of complex factors and i think based on that jet set radio is popular in its you know medium-sized twitter circle versus something like shenmue which is big in its big size twitter circle and then you've got yaksa which is huge generally you know you've got to kind of almost look at it from that point so them the, them's the breaks, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe it's that kind of recency bias again, that in the sense that when this next Jet Set Radio game comes out, Beat could yeah. become iconic again, whereas like he was iconic 20 years ago. Yeah. And 
since then there is more relevant characters now like Rio is a relevant character at the moment because he's had an anime two years ago a fresh like game a again four coming. years ago so <laughs> so basically uh, Jim's argument is the other guys are not Rio so let's go with I Rio. think Rio has That's to good. be there I, I'm gonna I think throw some does. fists I think Rio has to be there over Axel personally i think both mm. rio and majima have to be there and i'm gonna say if you have to chuck one axel's the weakest on the guaranteed quote-unquote list i i closely followed maybe if we're talking about relevance like what characters are relevant and that is a factor that we want to consider how relevant is alex kid really compared to the other ones that want to be on the list uh, see, it's tough to say. Not very, but same deal. Recognizability. Could you say Axel as a character has the same recognizability as the others, or is it the recognizability of Streets of Rage that you're thinking of when you think of Axel? Because how many people would immediately name Axel, or they go, "Oh, the Streets of Rage guy." Mm. See, maybe we're coming at it from the wrong angle now. Maybe we're thinking of 2024 relevancy, whereas we probably should think of a the character as a whole for Sega, because he is a Sega character, is iconic. Like Alex Kidd is the face of Master System, which for a generation of like 37 year olds probably grew up on that game before Sonic. It kind of had a, yeah. a mascot quality before Sonic. Um, so iconic as a character. I feel like you have to say Alex Kidd is, <laughs> even though maybe 30 years on or whatever, he doesn't really have much of that. It's, it's, it really is so difficult to sort of say now, are we, are we talking yeah. about now or <laughs> like <laughs> what, what it means to Sega? And it, it's, it, I, I, say, Sega. I think there are no right or wrong answers here, right? So we're going to upset people or not, uh, and, and hurt the feelings of these characters, these fictional fictional characters, uh, either way. So I would argue that from with all those arguments that you just, both th the three of you just, just uh, mentioned, I would say probably uh, Knights and Ai don't belong on this list. Hmm. That's yeah, devastating, that though, really, isn't it? But uh, the same reason. If Alex if Kidd we does. should if we should, <laughs> I think Alex Kidd uh, is indeed the face of the Master System. Like the, the that whole generation, that whole eight bit generation, uh, Alex Kidd is, you know, hands down the most recognizable character, even more so than Sonic for many people, uh, or at least to the same extent of Sonic. Um, Knights isn't quite that to the Saturn, I think. it's Even if it uh, is, it's a smaller install base of people, it's that. Dude. Maybe, maybe, right? And AI yeah. is, I think, in a way, I voted for AI, to be to be honest, as, uh, like, I think it was, I think it was you, Jim, right? You said, like, I was thinking of characters and AI popped into my head. That was the exact same thing. I never expected II to be voted for by everyone. Um, Isn't that also what kind of makes a character iconic? Because that's what pops up. Yeah, in that's your a good head. point. That's a good point. And I don't think we should uh, remove II because if all four of us thought of him, he is. Yeah, probably, that must mean something. I, that right? must I'd mean something. I'd also say with. Hi, hi. There was like that period in in this. By obviously, Sega didn't have a console by then, but by like 2000 to 2010, they put out so many Monkey Ball games, and they were always really good system sellers. You know, it was one of the only things to play on GameCube day one. Same deal. Um, it was a Wii launch title, and that thing shifted like millions of units. So mm -hmm. the star faded a lot in 2010 when they made no games, with the exception of like 2019 or something. So same deal. Do you argue that? Yeah. But certainly. That character wasn't the face of Sega in the 2010s, but it was a strong core of their identity in that time. So, yeah. once again, is it like a Knight situation where that's not strong enough as Alex Kidd is to carry that almost? I think I I is I I I said this during the tier list episode. Uh, Monkey Ball is bigger in non-Sega circles that we, than we probably 
uh, realize, especially yeah. Nintendo, the Nintendo fan circle, people like GameCube fans and yeah, and like, like there's an, a, a Nintendo fan calling Lime right now. Uh, <laughs> saying if you if you Running remove I'll, I'll turn the sound down. You. Fine, I'll turn yeah. it down. I'm reminded now to play some Monkey Ball. <laughs> Remind do not disturb. Ball. There <laughs> we go. Reminder, add AI to the, the list. Bayonetta. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, but 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 decisions, guys. So I, if if we're gonna remove anything from this list right now, <laughs> I would remove Morgana. <laughs> <laughs> but first of all, who are we adding? Maybe this is easier. We have two spots left. Who are we adding to yeah. the li to the list? Rio yeah. and Magica, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah? I think so not Beat, not Shadow. Uh, we've already got two Sonic characters, so. Okay. So I think uh, Majima uh, should be should, should 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 be on the list, and I know that, like. I know the popularity of Shenmue, so there, there, there must be a character from there, there as well. So I agree with Viper there. Okay, so currently, right. if we're if Great. we're all for that, currently the the state of the the, the list is Sonic, Kiryu, Ai, Ai Tails, Alex Kid, Knights, Axelstone, Morgana, Ryo Hazuki, and Goro Majima. That's a good list. Yeah. There was an argument for Shadow earlier, though. Yeah, we've, we've what do we th what do we think about um, switching tails Eggman. for either uh, Eggman or Shadow? Eggman as well, yeah. I think tails. Like I think I did this graph earlier with my hands. I think tails is here and Shadow's here. To Eggman. be honest, yeah. Eggman, yes. though, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> like, Eggman is sort of floating around hereish. Eggman's a very similar I would, level. I, 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 I would kind of, kind of say that Eggman has a lot more memorable and bigger personality. Uh, Maybe than we do more need a villain has. as well. Do we, we haven't got like, a single especially villain. Especially with the work of... Um, of uh, oh, now the name escapes me. Uh, Ian Flynn. No. No. Uh, I don't know. Come on, the voice I, actor. Oh, Mike Pollock. Mike Pollock, yeah. Mike Pollock oh, there we go. A Jim Just, Carrey. Uh, yes, yes. Does, Hello, Rhapsody. Oh, yeah. Hello, that, Rhapsody. That, that, See, that, that, that as well. So, point. yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's bigger personality, like, a lot more stuff going on, and the design would be equally iconic, so I... I don't, I don't know if he it. meant it as an argument for this, but uh, how can it you... Works. <laughs> it works. It works. How can, how can you bias. not love Eggman after watching the movies? If, even if the only contact you have with Sonic the Hedgehog is the movies... Yeah. You gotta love Eggman. Jim yeah. Carrey's iconic know, in that role. So I know it was posted as a joke, but I, I genuinely think that has actually swayed my opinion towards Eggman over time. Yeah, me too. <laughs> same, same. Thanks, <laughs> so should we, Thanks for the jokes. <laughs> should we remove Tails and replace Tails with Eggman? Yeah. 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 Shadow yeah. versus Eggman isn't even close, I don't think. Okay. So, yeah, it's gotta be Eggman for the so, second So, place. like I was saying, you've got Eggman here, Tails here, and Shadow here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. But all are still most more popular than like most of the rest of the list. Yeah, it's important sure, to but... mention. <laughs> so, by the way, so the the list the the final top ten apparently is Sonic, Kiryu, Ai, Ai Eggman, Alex Kidd, Knights, Axel Stone, Morgana, Ryo, and Majima. Okay. After all's been said and done, uh, yeah. how would you? Uh, we, we don't we don't really have time for that tournament thing, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Lime. It was a great idea, but no. how do you? How I take big offense. I'm big offense. so offended. I know. I know. It's it's punishment for that surprise, that stunt you pulled on me <laughs> earlier last last week. Uh, but how would you rank? I, I I don't think we can put Sonic lower than first place here, right? It's got to be no. first, yeah. Think it's yeah. first, but I'm curious as to who you think should be uh, second and third. By the way, just let's Eggman. just leave it at that. Maybe Eggman. Yeah. Actually, no. I unfortunately second. think it's Eggman. As boring of an answer as that is to put the two Sonics at top, but I think and it's then true. Kid Kiryu three probably. Yeah. I would probably go the other way around. I would probably go Kiryu second and and Eggman third. Well, it's tough. To considering say, considering that Kiryu actually made the list. <laughs> 
of yeah. of BAFTA of BAFTA Default. gamers, yeah, that's a of ba- uh, four thousand players from all over the world. Whatever that ha- that means. It was a shocking list, and they they probably we're assumed here. we're done after adding Sonic. They were not going to add another Sonic character. Yeah. Although they could have as many Baldur's Gate three characters <laughs> as they wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I I yeah. So as for like the rest of the top five. Would we add? Who would be it's added hard. to the top five? All right, so let's the, be clear. Uh, we had I maybe would, I. I would... belongs here. I think I is lower. I think I yeah. is towards the end of the list, personally. Yeah. Uh, Ravsik is asking, no, which are you writing this? No. Like, can I also Ref... view this? Uh, so... No. No, I can, I can, I can put it. Because you're just going to add it. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just yeah. looking I, at I, the I would love to have it visually in front of me. To see. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me try it. Let me try you know, to, like, to share Sonic this here. with you guys. <laughs> it's all about levels. Yeah, That's we true. did That's... consider beat, by the way, Ravsig. We did. It was a semi silence Yeah. Very close. He'd be in the top 20. I mean, not really, but yeah. <laughs> He might uh, even be in the top 12. The non-existent top 12? I know this doesn't matter, but we're filling time here for KC. Um, yeah. See, I'd argue Beat's Thank iconic you. as a character because Jet Set Radio is iconic. I, I think yeah. Beat as a character is a purposefully like blank slate for the sake of the player to kind of draw themselves on. I'd say... Yeah, that's my impression too, kind of. Yeah. Characteristically, all of the other characters in that cast, of which there's like 20 plus, are way more memorable to me than Beat. But Beat being the face of the game is the one that's iconic almost. It's I'd say that's where I lie on Beat. Like by pure memory of the box art and the fact he's always the first playable character usually. Mm-hmm. I say that future he's not, but um, that threw yeah, me actually when you, you start future and you you have to start as like Gorman. <laughs> it's like yeah. where's Beat? That's that one you no know, the those things with main characters, many of them are intentionally like a little bit more generic, uh, so that more people can relate and then the other characters are uh the bigger personalities, so to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this was the Ooh. this was the tournament yeah, I think, I think, thing that I was I, doing, I, I, but I, I I need to be lower. No, I just put yeah. them in the order that we that we decided them, oh, and then right, replaced okay. uh, Tales with Doctor Eggman. So yes. we 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 actually said, can I change this? Uh, oh, like this? Yeah, there we go. So Doctor Eggman would be second, I think you said right, and Kiryu third. I'd be happy either way, actually. And then well, who'd be fourth then? I think uh, not necessarily fourth, but I think Morgana's a top five. So like uh, f- even if five? we don't think it, Persona 5 is huge for Atlas, mm-hmm. like absolutely enormous okay. to the JRPG and RPG like fans, mm-hmm. I think if you're like, oh, who's more instantly recognizable, Persona 5 or Super Monkey Ball, most people would be like Persona 5, obviously. So I think a top five has to at least be considered for that. Whereas yeah. I, I definitely can like shift down a bit, right? Okay. So like maybe like this. <laughs> Does anyone belong? I I think Majima should be higher than. Yeah. I yeah. Like I'm thinking like uh, Ryu and Goro as like four or five there. So yeah, that's pretty fair. Like this. Yeah. That works. Yeah. I didn't want to put yeah. too much bias into that. Yeah, one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyway. Would be the would this be fair? And Axel as the last one. I don't know. Would I swap Alex? Axel or Knights? Hmm. No, I, I don't. Like I don't Knights know if I would. Or... I think Knights is more recognizable though as a character, yeah. like like yeah. the yeah. Like the, the bland, again, blank, bland blank white guy. As well. This is a very yeah. demoralizing list, says Rafsig. <laughs> we did manager? we did talk about uh, Akira, but I was surprised more people yeah. picked Akira. I picked Akira. Yeah, Akira. I think yeah could could be here as like in the top fifteen, you, top twenty. It's, it's, have it's to, very yeah, hard to. My logic. <laughs> yeah, Rav. So that, that's, our that's our list. That's our list. That's our list. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's the official and official list of most iconic Sega characters. It, it was supposed to be the most iconic Sega character because we were going to vote on it. But I think we did it in the end, right? In a way. So it, right? Sonic, Sonic. Sonic is... I think we all agree on Sonic. Uh, like I, anyways, I think that's so I the only that thing that vote. we can agree on, really, right? right. That, that, that in that I, I, I <laughs> apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but it's that's our... It's a good list. Like, There's some variety yeah. here, yeah. I'm, I'm not good variety. Yeah. I'm not Shadow, too happy Shadow with should probably be to... on the list, but because of the rules that are there, that I I I, 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 I would prefer not to have two characters from yeah, Sonic yeah. and Yakuza. Like a but yep. but I do understand the decision to to and put them both here. Who would you like, oh, Casey? Oh, sorry. If if you got rid of got rid of the second Yakuza character, got rid of the second Sonic character, who do you think would make the list? Who'd I think? Uh, <laughs> who'd I vote for? <sighs> That's hard. Uh, I would probably. Oh yeah. So if you don't, it, it, we have two slots left, right? I would probably put the Hornet and Nancy the Lobster. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, a, no, that's uh, a second accuser so, character. Yeah, I'll, you're I'll removing. A oh second yeah, yeah, that's true. Character. I can't. Ah, I can't. Um, I would probably no. In, in all seriousness, I would probably go with uh, personally. So I would probably go with uh, Toad Jam and Earl, mm -hmm. and there are no reasons. Say the Hornet. <laughs> I think the Hornet, but uh, yeah, I, I understand why. Uh, probably Arl from Puyo. I think at that point, I'd say Akira cracks it. But, you know, it's important to say that this isn't, once again, you know, people like Rav joining in late. It's not our personal preferences list. Yeah. Morgana's like bottom 10 for me, but <laughs> them's the breaks, right? Um, Personally, I, still I wouldn't argue even for put it anyway. it her there. No. Yeah, but it, Her, no, it's him. fine in the grander sense, but in the <laughs> I like this character sense, Morgana's not yeah. touching the top of that list. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, please no hate mails. Before. Please no hate mails. No, no, please do. Podcast at the Sega Launch .com. Um, <laughs> It all goes to spam. Um, as, as like the last character, like least least iconic character, it's easy. It's Namba from Like a Dragon, uh, the Like a Dragon games. Namba is really annoying. And if you don't know why, just listen to our uh, previous episode I featuring this, the non-Namba like Club. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was one of the only people in the world not to like uh, Namba, but apparently there are more of us and we should unite against Namba. <laughs> <laughs> I think N Namba is actually a, a pretty Namba. popular character from what I, I see online. About the game, but, but uh, interestingly, no, no, no. Uh, Brian doesn't like Namba, and Matt apparently and doesn't you. like Namba either, and I don't either. That's what I'm saying, but this. not at the Sega Lounge. Yeah, yeah. Th th this is a non-Namba friendly zone. This is, an, this is the non-Namba club. So yeah, welcome to the non-Namba club. That's a new part, like, like a spin-off of the Sega Lounge coming, the non-Namba club. Um, well, <laughs> look forward to okay, two episodes so of that before the content runs dry. <laughs> <laughs> we get two games to cover. Uh, yeah, so I think that's yeah. it. I think that's a pretty okay. good list, right? I think, yeah, it's it's, it's our list. That said, there's an, a, a whole other list going on, which is the tier list, the Sega tier list, franchise tier list. And although we, uh. we, we won't mention it here, but Vipers on the show as a guest so he also gets to vote for the the franchises on the tier list he gets to rank them and that will affect the final outcome of the the franchise tier lists oh my gosh. at the end of the season oh and i've i've sent viper uh, the the list of current franchises and i'm, I'm glad i don't have to say it here because i've not even thought about any yeah of i'm <laughs> eagerly awaiting his Another his two hours his here on the show <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! You don't have to do it here, but that's that's something to to consider as well. And we'll be that's doing the hours. second half of that uh, in the coming months. So by then, yes. I I think Viper will have sent me his his picks. His I didn't friends. realize you wanted them immediately. I thought we were <laughs> no, 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 no! I'm just show, kidding. So I'm very thankful we're not. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Not immediately. You have time. Yeah, I wanted to mention that mm, you minutes. will have a word to say on that on that tier list as well. 
Just make sure to pick the right ones. <laughs> make sure oh, to I, I, give like, an answer. What answer was voting, voting so low on Sonic? <laughs> what was the situation there? We kind of got it a little bit. Go, go yeah, listen to the episode. The so. That's the right answer. Yeah, yeah. Go listen I, um, to the episode. I, can, I, <laughs> I, I was like there. a little bit more <laughs> negative than I wanted to be. There, I played Secret um, Rings recently. My opinions <laughs> dropped. Yeah, that, that's that's <laughs> exactly. one of them. But yeah, I like there was like a p- p- personal opinion there, like wanting to like give an extra little boot to um, releasing finished games. Um, it, that is them. is is something that they keep releasing games with. Like where the spin dash doesn't work or introduce the knuckles glitch again, you know, embarrassing things like that. That just frustrates me so much because I want to see the franchise so do well. And that. so it's like, no, I'm I'm going to put it down here and show you what I think about how you treat your fans. Like, like I'm a little is, bit angry about that, as you, yes. as you see. Statement. Uh, so yeah, but okay. that's my personal <laughs> stuff. Viper, Viper just fell asleep. Yeah, but that's my that's my personal like vendetta, and maybe did not belong uh, on that tier list. <laughs> Viper just <laughs> left at this point. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so go listen to the episode. That's my message to Viper and to people who are wondering why are certain franchises where they are yeah so just go listen to the episode second half second half Sorry, council coming line. soon hashtag cancel live <laughs> that first um, part is why we're so meticulous with the tier list today <laughs> you don't want to make the actually, same mistakes actually we're able to do this under three hours and i'm really proud of all of us yeah. that part being said it's we're, we've uh, just crossed the two and a half hour mark which means, sadly, it's time to go. It's all the time we have for this week's episode of the Sega Lounge. So, guys, thank you very much for joining me. Um, very quickly, anything that you want to specifically mention, promote, that you're, you'll be doing soon? Let's start with Viper this time. Uh, starting with Viper is a bad idea because he doesn't know what he's going to say in this section. Um, yeah, we kind of brushed upon it a little bit earlier. I'm looking to... I haven't done this yet, but I'll do it immediately after the show. I'm looking to join the Fast Friends uh, initiative that we mentioned. Is it Fast Friends? No, that's that trivia question. No, that's it. Lost, right? <laughs> uh, What's it? What's the collecting name Collecting rings? Rings something? Raising We're, rings. Raising rings. Raising rings. That's the one. <laughs> it's still on the brain. Um, yeah, I'm looking to do that uh, next weekend. So twitch.tv forward slash the Green Viper 8. I'll give more details, I'm sure, on uh, tomorrow night's show, as long as my equipment doesn't break. It held up for two and a half hours. Um, aside from that, I'm pretty boring at the moment. I'm not really doing much of anything. So I'm looking forward to making that a big weekend, right? So yeah. hopefully see you then. Fingers crossed. Check out Radio Sega for, for news on As that. As well. Yeah, very yeah, good. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, okay. Awesome. Mr. Lime Reversed. Well, hello. Well, I am, uh, well, I've just finished uh, Yakuza 0. Uh, who Yay. knows what I will do next? Uh, <laughs> I do have something special planned for uh, the Pride uh, charity streams. So, uh, but I'm not gonna uh, reveal that yet. I am though very close to uh, 100%ing Sonic and the Secret Rings. I'm so sorry. So I- I'm yeah, so proud, we just I have think. the gold uh, the gold ranks to get now and. Uh, I uh, yes, I might have reached a little bit, and it might have um, um, formed <laughs> my opinions for the tier list a little bit when this is fresh in my memory. But uh, what we remote you know, number are you on? How many have you snapped? How many I've snapped? How many yeah. times I've snapped? No, how many like we remotes you physically like crack like in your the, hand? The, oh, 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 I see. Yeah. So, yeah, well, well, it's it's still intact. It it's still you're intact. a patient man. I respect like, it. It's duct-taped. I want to like say this is, say that like it's a Sonic game, so I am going to have fun. Like that that is the main thing. Uh, I'm playing these games for a reason because I love them because I like them, and sometimes I'm a little bit more harsh 
because I want uh, them to um, do well. And I have like, um, but I wanted to see better sometimes. Yeah, indeed. Do better. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, of course, I'm having fun with it, even if, yes, it's sometimes frustrating. So, so basically what you're saying is get good. <laughs> Say good. Yeah. Awesome. Sure. Thank you very much, Lime, for sharing. Go check out Twitch Affiliate Lime Reversed. And we have Skill Gym. So, yeah. Konnichiwa. If any Shemu fans, <laughs> Konnichiwa, Kanban Wa at this time. Um, any Shemu fans listening in right now, um, yeah, just keep an eye on ShemuDojo.com over the next week or two. Um, something pretty exciting happening that I haven't actually mentioned anywhere yet so i'm not going to Ooh. reveal but something pretty cool coming soon and obviously just keep tabs on the the dojo for all the updates for george kitchen's game i think Rain i know path. what it is uh, i think i'd be surprised actually casey Ooh, might not be what you think maybe not of. okay 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 Ooh, exciting so that's that's shenmu dojo for everyone wanting to to know more yeah. right yeah. dot com <laughs> exactly or social media just check the or show notes just, it's always there it's always there it by now surely yeah <laughs> okay great and as for the seg lounge we'll be back next week with another episode next week we'll have an artist it's been a long time since we've had an artist who works on the comics mm. awesome. that was a great interview recorded like three weeks ago or something uh but a, a great one nonetheless and you should definitely check it out um other than that yes, other than that we have the 10th anniversary celebrations coming soon we have something that i should not talk about yet because it's not really set in stone yet but we're doing something for sonic's birthday as well this year so stay tuned for that stay tuned for that and remember that if you go to the com slash support you can get new 10th anniversary merch at a special price if you wish to support the show. Thank you very much for listening. Please tell us what you thought of our uh, our like well list of iconic characters. <laughs> who did we miss? Who did we... Did we not talk about someone who should be on the list, by the way? Because we talked about most, not most, many characters, but did we miss someone? Are you really upset that Zo Zubio and... I don't remember no, the other one oh, from, I knew from one. the House of the Dead isn't on the list or some yeah. some other like or or um the 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 Bonanza brothers for example they should be on the list why why they are they not. not on the list I don't know or the Yatra or Opa 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 was one that I thought about Opa Opa I thought no, about No all yeah. jokes aside Sagata Sanchiro was on one of these brilliant people's it was on the lists, list yeah. but but yeah. In the end, they I'll removed it. Again. Yeah, altered beast, altered beast. Uh, no, no, keep that off. <laughs> <laughs> and so many. So who should we should have we like put on the list um, and and removed? Maybe Majima or or Ryo Hazuki. Tell us, tell us. In if you the, want to uh, remove Majima, media. no, sorry, we can't be friends. If you want you to need, remove you Ryo, go you're through. getting removed from <laughs> the subscriptions of this podcast. You're not a fan, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> So take care, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the week. We'll be back next week. And these live shows will probably be back next month. So enjoy yourselves. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening slash Bye. watching. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. The Sega Lounge, hosted by me, KC, and part of Radio Sega's network of live shows and podcasts. Theme song and incidental music by OSC. Got any suggestions? Drop me an email to podcast at thesegalounge.com. Find us at The Sega Lounge on X Twitter and Instagram, at thesegalounge.com on Blue Sky, and be sure to check out our Twitch and YouTube channel for live video content. You can find previous episodes of the show by going to thesegalounge.com on the Terra Player app and wherever you listen to podcasts. Uh.
a Mixed On Productions podcast.